Good evening, and welcome back to another episode of Stardust Rhapsody. We would absolutely love it if you could like this video, check the subscribe button, and click that bell so you never miss an episode. And while you're doing that, I'm going to read some comments from episode two. Quote number one. I just want to say when I watched this live for the first time, Mace's DMing blew me away. Props to him, he's amazing at it. Oh. Quote number two, I loved the visceral description of the horrors. I was not expecting the poor boy to melt and fall apart. Oh my god. Yeah. Quote number three, a guy in my home game is playing a character named Labuz, who has a vaguely Russian accent. I know for a fact he's a Legends of Avantress fan, but I think I'm the only one who realized that he's based on Labouche, and that's hilarious. Oh. You're inspiring people. Oh. And lastly, what in the sewing life alchemist did I just watch, Mace? <laughs> Stunning storytelling as always. Yeah. So, really leave funny. a comment nice below, and maybe next time, yours will be included. Uh -huh. If you'd like to support the stream, make sure you check out the merch shop, become a patron over on Patreon, and pre-order your copy of The Crooked Moon <coughs> today at thecrookedmoon.com. Thank you. And with that, Space Adventurers, it is time to don your sunglasses. Pick up your instruments and lend your cosmic chorus to our Stardust Rhapsody. Let's jam. Some say the universe is a song. That all things are made from the same stuff as the stars. And that every life is a note in the music of existence that echoes through infinity. So when you feel insignificant and alone, just remember, we're all irreplaceable parts of that grand cosmic melody. The Stardust Rhapsody. Space. You really can find anything you seek if you just dare look close enough. Kind of like a graviton ether engine buried away in an armadillo's junkyard. <laughs> but you know what they say, one man's junk is another armadillo's treasure powering his unstoppable machine of destruction. The Rhapsody landed on an unassuming junk planet looking for the easy bounty of Mad Dog Dairy. After meeting up with the run of their litter, Augie, the party made their way through Junk Mountain. Eventually, they came across Gary's garage and uncovered his secret, learning that he recovered unknown tech from a destroyed Empire ship. They found it jammed unceremoniously into his armadillo, and now means to turn it on the junkyard gangs. Will his reign of terror extend across the yard, or will the party put his leash back on? You hear Derry shouting from beneath you to prep the armadillo. The armadillo. It's time to roll it. Oh, it's time to roll over the other junkyard gangs. <laughs> a collection of junkyard dogs start running around the base level, uh, beginning to put things together, grabbing, prepping, oiling. Uh, they're clearly starting to get this machine uh, up and running and put together. They do not seem to have taken any notice of you as of yet. And you would assume if you would move even relatively carefully, uh, you would, they might look up, they might see the two of you, they're still disguised as uh, junkyard dogs. Uh, and at least from a distance, they think that you're just part of the gang. Wow. Should I drop down on them and crush them with my body? <laughs> Whatever the fuck this is, we need to stop it. Uh, how many of them are there? 
I look around to count how many there are. Uh, like 35. Oh, shit. <laughs> Definitely don't jump. I retract my jump. statement. <laughs> yeah, I think if we heard them, sh- or if I heard them shout out, I would probably like just kind of duck low and try to remain out of sight behind wherever I am standing with, with Rhett and try to like maintain a low profile. Um, I will, uh, I would stand mm. and basically if people are hiding, I would, uh, I would, I would like sh- raise my hand and say, yeah, you get it, you get it, boss. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be so cool. <laughs> oh yeah, this is going to be cool. <laughs> and I will basically observe and uh, basically <coughs> attempt to use minor illusion to uh, describe what I'm seeing mm-hmm. to the rest of the party that's like beyond, oh, if they shit. can't see anything. Mm-hmm. I will do the same. Uh, yeah. Since I also have oh, yeah. Illusion. yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. We're like we we were like basically building a scene for you that's yeah. like interlocking like yeah. 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 Ah. One is made of sand and the other's like fucking confetti. <laughs> <and balloons. laughs> yeah. Uh and you do this and you describe the picture of what you see oh, beneath yeah. you. And you see oh. pretty regularly these uh the these creatures running around at the, at the base of this armadillo. Uh very much uh getting it ready to roll on the the junkyards. Um, they're, they're, uh, running all around it. They're starting at the base level to get it going. Uh, you might expect that in a couple minutes as they, uh, resolve the level that they're at, they're going to start to move up the scaffolding, uh, until they potentially prep it at the very top. Um, Ooh, we can't let them roll on, on the whole junkyard. We'll never stop him if he gets it up and going. I think... I think it seems like you understand a, a bit of engineering, Rhett. I if, do. If, if you'd like, I think w- we might be able to go around to it. I know a little bit of how these things are put together. Uh, not a whole lot, but a little bit. We might be able to tamper with parts of it. Uh, that's exactly what we need to do. We can't take 35 of them. All right. If you can take me there, I can sabotage it. Okay. We can, we can start with whatever... Whatever section you'd like to best, there are four options. The the gang play the gangways you see before you a- any section. You tell me where to go. I'll bring I'll bring the lot of you over there, uh, and we'll, we'll take a look at it together. Uh, I, is one like the closest? Uh, yeah, sure. I'd say the top right. Top right is the closest. Whatever. Yeah. Whichever one's closest, we're going top right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you start to, and what we'll do, uh, mechanically here, I'll just say it, uh, is every rotation you attempt to uh, sabotage this, we'll roll a group stealth check, Ooh. and it will have an increasing difficulty. Uh, and you will be able to sabotage this construct until you fail that group check. Oh. oh. So we have like four opportunities. Mm-hmm. And if we get caught because we fail the stealth check, we get caught. Mm-hmm. But if we fail the check to sabotage, we also get caught. Uh, sure. Yeah. That sounds good too. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you just said? I, I think he was always yeah, yeah. stealth no, well, yeah, The stealth check was the initial part, but I like the failure to sabotage no, thing too. No, I yeah. fucked it up. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna you look at my to assign homework. my <laughs> dearest brother, uh, Cashrew, <laughs> and I'll say, Cashrew, I think we gotta go, cause a little bit of mischief, buy our friend some time. I gotta say you're right. <sighs> well, let's go. And so I don't know if we're able to buy more time, but my intention is to basically in disguise while we still have this lingering to basically say, oh no, we got it. Like, you don't need to come up here. <laughs> yeah. We're good. Or like, as they're trying to climb up the ladder, we're climbing down the ladder. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you have to go up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We gotta go down. I'm already on the way down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seems we've reached uh, an impasse. <laughs> That's incredible. You may try. <laughs> okay. Just tell me what to do. Uh, so you start, we'll do, we'll do this first. You start shuffling down the ladders. to get. Do you want to go all the way to the bottom, like amongst the gang? <laughs> Maybe like one level up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And then just kind of hang so, until like, everybody oh, starts to Oh, we'll get started up here. Oh, then, uh, yeah, don't worry. Uh, the, 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 shrew, the shrew brothers got it from here. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
uh, uh, with Castro and Shrukles, we've got we've got this whole side. You don't got it. We're none. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, no, hey, we're we're good. We're 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 working on it. And then I would um, I would uh, basically uh, make a little balloon shrew, pop that to Kavir for bardic inspiration. <laughs> And then I will basically pull out of my hat like a comically large wrench, and just use uh, <laughs> uh, I'll like just do this, and then use minor illusion to have just like comical machine noises yeah, yeah, yeah. coming out of yeah. with a big crank, cloud around crank, it. Crank, crank, uh, crank. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, pretend. Um, yeah. Roll a performance check. Oh, both of us. Uh, or just, add advantage. Yeah. Or does it matter? Whatever you wanna. Performance. I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna use one twist. Okay. Natural twenty. That's a thirty-one. Oh hell God, yeah! Fire. yeah. Shit. Oh, uh, there's a uh, Cashew <laughs> and yeah. uh, Shrukos. Yeah. Those are the nice. ones that took over the guard duty at the door. They didn't let anybody through. No. And they kicked around Augie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that guy fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah. Fucking Augie. Oh, those guys are good guys. Look at them. Oh. That guy fucking sucks. That's a big old wrench. We, all, good we all right. also took his orange rations for the day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Still yep. thinks it's oranges. Just a couple <laughs> of shrews. <laughs> oh yeah. Dummy. Uh, okay, second tier is all good. Shrugles and cash shrews got it. <laughs> um, is there anything on this one that we can sabotage? <laughs> Maybe Let's get like there. the last Let's one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the, the rest of you. Uh, shuffle to the top right gangplank. Uh, here you see a uh, here you see a portion of the outer shell that looks uh, weakened, and you think that you might be able to find uh, or expose the opening a little bit and create uh, more weakness in the metal here. Should you uh, should you attempt to do so? Mm. And, um, do we need to make our stealth check? Oh, yes, I'm sorry, yeah. Roll your stealth <laughs> no! check. No! Because of the, because of the, uh... God. You can do an added advantage that? because of Shrukles and Cash uh-huh. Roof. Really? Oh, yeah. True bros. Oh, True bros. Oh, we'll apply it. Shrew- that brilliant, that brilliant master stroke. Uh, we'll apply advantage. 25. 25. 14. A okay. steal? Okay, 25, 14. This will almost certainly With advantage. determine. Oh, with all advantage. Of us? Mm-hmm. With advantage. Yep. four of you. Yep. What was it again? Stealth. Stealth. <coughs> okay, solid 13. Do you want to roll again? You have advantage. Oh, shit. Nope, 13. Boosh. <laughs> On a 1 and a 20. <laughs> Is that is that twice as happened or three times? Twice. That's twice. 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 Throw three that shit one away. One. Use this one. one. one Use, I think that's one and a twenty. No, just uh, try. You sure? Try only okay. using this one. I, I'm only gonna this one over it. here. I'm gonna oh put it behind God. the barrier. It's yes. gonna be behind it's the most. It's gonna be behind the number two. We're gonna find out. And they give We've been snapping off twenties. We got like five or six ones. I've gotten four ones since we started playing today. I'm I'm making a list. I'm checking it twice. That's a twenty-three. The lot of you. Very it. stealthy, you destroy it. Um, and as I said, the DC will start lower, and as you go and oh affect boy. this machinery, uh, it will become more difficult to do so. Um, however, uh, right now you have disappeared into the upper darknesses of the scaffolding, and you have moved to the top right section. You see the weakened portion of the metal. Uh, and you can uh, endeavor to do uh, whatever you'd like to attempt to weaken it further, uh, creating uh, opportunities in the outer shell armor of this creature. Mm. Rat, what do we do? Uh, we need to fucking weaken this metal armor shield, whatever the fuck this is. Are we sure we want to disturb the energy inside? I mean, I think that this is going to be separate. Once this thing gets going, the energy is going to do what the energy is going to do. And if we weaken it here, I don't think it's going to be able to go on and do what they want it to do. Should I just try to pull it apart? Yeah, uh, I was going to suggest a large amount of heat. And you can do that? I got a couple tricks up my sleeve. Uh, all right. I'll let you have this one. 
what I'm going to do is making sure I have the, yes. So uh, I can spend two key points to do uh, what is called a searing arc strike, which lets me cast burning hands. Oh! Uh, but instead, you know, flavoring it as my solar uh, solar monk abilities, mm. I would essentially. Uh, wait for, you know, have Rhett basically guide me, pointing like where we mm. want to in, impose this Be kind here. of yeah, structural here. weaknesses mm. and uh, channel the uh, radiant light that is of me mm. uh, through my hands and attempt to heat this metal mm. as, as much as I possibly can uh, over the course of where he's pointing and, and directing. Mm. Uh, Rhett, roll an engineering check and Pike roll, we'll say damage. Oh, interesting. Well, natural I, 20. Oh, oh my god. god. I With a natural 31. That guy is hot. That guy is doing all right. Yeah. Yeah. We are hot 20 tonight. on the engineering check, you may roll double damage. Holy oh, shit. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, it'll be 66, son. Eh, that's eight. Uh, plus five is uh, 13. Uh, plus seven is 20 total points of damage. Mm. I almost called it 22. That's weird. <sighs> wow. Um, I felt it. So from my hands, this it's uh, kind of glows like a, a, a deep violet into like a light pink into orange and then a bright glow mm. as this uh, the sunlight pours from my hands. Mm. And that that energy uh, begins from the from the source in your palm and you will see the metal uh, as your blast meets it. And you're not just firing up this arc, but you're creating condensed heat right in the palm. And as you place it against these panels where Rhett tells you, uh, he knows exactly that you've all had uh, some time with this. He understands it more intimately than most. Uh, he knows exactly where you can find some of these weak points and you're easily able to cut through some of this metal uh, like a, a hot knife through butter. Uh, and you get the sense that you have done severe damage to its outer shell. All right. Wow. After I uh, finish up, I will <coughs> steady myself and say, all right, now we're... That'll do it. Good job. Yeah. All right, let's do the next one. Top left. Uh, and I would have you all roll a group stealth check. Again? Same, top row. Top row. Lord. So yeah, I'm staying on the tops knowing that they're like below us just in yeah. case they want to do whatever. Yeah, so I'm Isn't unstoppable. I'm at 27. Wow. 15. Are we still advantage or just straight? 12. Let's say straight. Yeah. 12. Um, 12. Wherever they're going, so if they're in the top right, I'm going to try and stay underneath them. Okay. To sort of obscure the view from below. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. All right. And like move with. So if they go to the top left next, I'll be rotated to the top left. Okay. So. Should I twist? And my intention Probably. is basically if if uh, <laughs> Cashrew is blocking their view, I'm just trying to make as much racket as I. I work in, work in. I'm the, I'm the armadillo. Sun <laughs> sun, something in <new> doing. <laughs> 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 and there's a big, a big, yeah, it's basically a giant comical cartoon cloud around me. Yeah, with the yeah. sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. A bunch yeah. of you have a series of swirling like, thing. Yep. Space Yogi power tools floating around you <laughs> as they begin to like zip down rivets and like yep. cut you, and you, like a saw appears and it's just like sawing it. Doesn't make any sense. You're, but you're about to walk good. off a gam yeah. plank and a girder comes up and yep. you yeah. up yeah. 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 <laughs> That's exactly what fucking happens. Uh, We're sitting having lunch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Um, what was the stealth rolls? You got like a 27. 27. 15, 11. 27. 11. 15. <gasps> Did you roll? Did you add 12. Yeah. 12. 27, 15. I'm sucking at these stuff. 11, 12, 12 27, 12, yeah. 15. Okay. So um, definitely pass. <laughs> it sounds like a no. room. You pass for the second. But narrowly. <gasps> uh, oh my god. Um, Don't worry, it'll be me who fucks it up when I get a one. <laughs> uh, ah, damn I'm god. sweating and I, I, I push my, my like hand across my, my shielded head and I smear my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, the top left gangplank. It looks like uh, it, it looks like we can get a, a little access to the to the spacing between the panels. You can see a bit of the leathers that hold them together. Uh, I think we might be able to reach in there, uh, and if we can, if we can, maybe cut them a bit, loosen them up, see if we can uh, interrupt the the panels between. You read my mind. You just sploosh on in there and you <laughs> fucking. Rip it all out. <laughs> Hulk sploosh. Let's <laughs> go <laughs> uh, Hulk sploosh. <laughs> I, I'll take my my bread from the my gauntlets. <laughs> X-rated stream. <laughs> I'll take my gauntlets off and I'll set them down gently against the metal gangway, and so I will. A mild oh clack as you put them down, but quietly. And then I will get over to the opening, and I'll put my hands there, and then. I'll immediately start to uh, sloosh in there uh, and reach in as deep as I can, five, 10, 15, 20 feet. If I can grab any wire uh, or, or uh, connection or anything like that, uh, I'm breaking them one at a time like two. And then form your fist again once you're inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wear this armadillo like a glove. <laughs> um, roll a investigation check. This is the good the good dice. It is the good dice. 18 flat. Ooh. What did you roll? Yeah. What did uh, you investigation. Roll an 18? I rolled an 18 flat. Okay. Um you reach in and it's your you, line button. you start to expand <laughs> out. And uh you understand everything that or, or you get a very clean sense of things. You can feel connectors. You disconnect uh, two things you feel together. Um, you, you feel leather straps. You just cut clean through them. Uh, you feel some chain woven together. You put your, your hands around it and you start to kind of turn a little acidic uh, as you attempt to just melt the chain apart. Uh, and you do so. And you have successfully uh, sabotaged this section Hell of yes. the uh, armadillo. More like armadino. That's very funny. That's very funny. Is that LaBouche or Derek saying that? <laughs> it's unclear. It's a little Derek. <laughs> oh, I'll put my gauntlets back on. Mm. Was that uh, satisfactory? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I take a look in. It's all like it's <laughs> yeah. and, like, it's sizzling a little snapped. bit. You can see like electrical sparks, yep. like like flashing out. You can see a bit of smoke coming out of the side. Uh, that'll do it. On to the next one. <coughs> oh, very good, very good. Uh, two sections left. I think we can be, we can reach uh, in in the time that we have. Uh, may, I'm just guessing. I don't know. I think that's the time. <laughs> I, I don't have insider knowledge. You better not guess, Adi. <laughs> you better know. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I know. I know. Um, and then I, I would say you can do this. You, you made the decision to do this in one of two ways. You already have two party members down there. If the two of you would like to, at this point, I know you said you're going to watch them kind of sabotaging things. If you want to kind of move as you would, mm -hmm. you, may <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> you may also roll stealth checks. Uh, if you think upstairs, you would have made it down before uh, they would act on their own recognizance. I think that Chuckles would not <laughs> try to sabotage unless Kavir, like said, hey, we should sabotage yeah. this. If Kavir made the, the intuition to say, hey, let's do this, I think mm -hmm. Chuckles would, but I don't think I, don't think I would think of that. Can we uh, look down and see if we have any gauge on their progress in terms of how they're doing on the bottom floor? Yeah, I would say that at this stage, uh, they seem like they're about wrapping up on the bottom floor. Uh -huh. uh, and they're getting ready to kind of start to move up a rung. Um, you think that you have maybe a couple moments before they start to move to the ladder? Hmm. I think... Uh... <laughs> what's, what's up, Cash Room? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks like they're gonna start making their way up here, and then, uh, well, then what do we do? Uh, oh, I say we take out the fucking line. <laughs> what do you think, Ashru? That's pretty good, but we can't make it look obvious. Oh, okay. Coming right up. <laughs> <laughs> Am I good to proceed, Ashru? What do you think? 
Yeah, yeah, you take that ladder, okay. I'll take this ladder. I'll be, re- I'll be, I'll be really inconspicuous. <laughs> I'll pull off my hat. I just love a hat and shirt. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> and we'll reach in. You have like a pull. sailor's captain yeah, I, hat. It doesn't match with I, your... I uh, put my, my... I guess I had put my flamethrower back in when I pulled out the wrench. I'm wrench. The wrench. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's not be silly. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> the wrench. <laughs> the wrench. Oh, fly it's out. Like, yeah, now. Like, it's one of the workers in the head. <laughs> That's actually the... Uh, the the floating uh, bardic inspiration is a ranch <laughs> bottle around through the air. Okay, okay, fuddle, fuddle, fuddle. I'm gonna reach in and I'm gonna pull in because I don't have a clown outfit. I don't have my lapel flower. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pull out like a strange uh, acid spraying gun with a flower, uh, like a Mad Max style, with a, but a, a bright red flower at the very end of the nozzle. Mm-hmm. And uh, in in like in a uh, quick paint, it will say "Smell this." <laughs> And I'm just going to use ca- Tasha's caustic brew mm. on the ladder to attempt to dissolve like it in one acid. Of the oh yeah, yeah, exactly. And so the intention is to basically blast it. It is one action, and I only have to do it once to actually coat it in acid. But then I have to maintain concentration to keep the acid going on the ladder. Oh, oh Jim, I didn't see you there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, just just polishing the ladder. That's just, that's just my job. Grease the ladder. Shrukles, 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 shrukles. We have read so many levels of meta. Yeah. It's not even fun. You've turned into a Pokemon. This is <laughs> not a single human being on this earth knows what's yeah, happening anymore. Yeah, a little bit of elbow grease. <laughs> <laughs> So Who left all this ass? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roll for oh, wild man. magic. This is where it all goes down. Oi, 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 oi. No, it'll be fine. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Uh, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. I would say. I mean, yeah. You. You. Do you roll the attack with that? So it is a uh, dexterity saving throw. Right, if it can well, make a dexterity fails, saving yeah, throw, it make then if I can concentrate fails. on it for a minute, I will deal. Um, I'm just. I'm. Ooh, God. <laughs> I'm just casting it. I'm not casting it at a third level or anything. I'm no, casting it as a second level. level. <laughs> and so basically, it will be uh, uh, 40 d4. Acid damage. 40? 40 d4 acid damage. 4 0? 4 0 over a minute. Over a minute, so yeah. it's four. It's four d four every six seconds. Is it a cone? Uh, it's a line. So I could, I would just basically shoot down the entire line and attempt to like basically coat the whole ladder and melt the ladder and melt the ladder in in acid. This is like the blood from the Alien. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's the intention. He's just standing at the top drooling. <laughs> oh, you rolled it already. Got okay. It. Um, <laughs> yeah, you you start to do this. Um, roll, roll just for laughs. Roll a stealth check. Oh, oh yeah, for laughs. Oh, you, could, you, just, you could have just disconnected the ladder and just let it do this, but... Oh, goodness. <laughs> stealth check, I'd it. melt it. <laughs> oh. Well, to be fair, there's no ladder to put back oh, up. Oh, shit, I'm just a damage still. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why is he just a Oh, because it was... Because cloud shoes. shoes. <laughs> He's got squeaky cloud shoes. Can I twist this? Just one yeah. twist. Just one twist. Oh, thank goodness. 17. Dread. <laughs> 15. Okay. <laughs> you start, smell yeah. this. You take your, your, uh, Sparks. your, like, <laughs> your fucking poison gun, and you start to pump yeah, basically. all this poison. <laughs> out onto the ladder and you shoot this acid down and it starts to cover the steel uh, and melt onto the floor. And you do this for about, uh, we'll say 20 seconds of uh, clean, like, uninterrupted citrine <laughs> of acid that's hitting the, the ladder before, uh, right where you had it targeted, you, you just have cleanly melted through the, the connections of the ladder Ooh, to yeah. the gangway. Uh, and it disconnects and then falls to the ground with a loud uh, metallic clanging on the ground. Uh, and you'll, you'll hear several of the, of the junkyard dogs turn and say, 
Hey, what's that? Oh. What are you doing up there? <laughs> the second that I cast it, I'm back to doing. <laughs> oh, what? Do, what do you mean? Just yeah. struggles and cash room? Yeah, working on this stuff. Uh, whoever was QC on that ladder clearly didn't do their job. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, what do you mean? Where did this pool of pool of acid come I, from? I don't know. Why oh. the ladder fall down in the pool of acid? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> When was the last time someone did a safety check up here? Are you sure it's acid? Maybe you should taste it. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. You won't. You won't do it. Taste oh, it. Oh. Is it acid? As if, as if I won't. As Is it won't. acid? I don't think it's acid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just just look at all the armadillo. You won't do, you won't do it. Roll you won't do it. Roll the persuasion. Yeah. Yeah. Do it, you nerd! You won't do it. Support. Uh, can I? Can I get advantage to Kavir to roll? Kavir yeah. roll. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, back uh, with red. I'm like, I bet you I can get that jack. Persuasion. Uh, Sixteen. The, the acid. Sixteen advantage. That was the advantage roll. Yeah, the second uh, one was a seven, so the first one was higher. Okay. Um, Twenty space bucks as you can. <laughs> God, that's so good. Uh, 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 well. I mean, I guess we don't do QC on anything around here, so... Well, I guess yeah, I guess that's fine for now. How's that second level looking? We're gonna come up in just a minute. Uh, we're almost there. Yeah, just a, <laughs> just a little bit longer. Oh, yeah, but just don't... You don't have to worry about it. Just two two guys on the platform. That's union regulation. <laughs> <laughs> union rules. Can I fuck it? Get him over the two guys up on Special level two. We're down a ladder. If there was an emergency, yeah. it'd be too difficult to get yeah. down. Oh, it would be an ocean violation. Uh, really bad. It would be an ocean violation. Yeah. 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 No, can't come up here from the techno union. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the techno union will have your hands. Have our hands. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. That all stands. <laughs> 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 the fact that you didn't call it Sposha makes me so upset. Oh, Sposha! 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 Okay. Oh. Occupational space tea and health administration is <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's really Oh, I can't believe that worked. That didn't seem like it was going to work even a little bit. Oh, <laughs> I didn't oh, doubt it for a second. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't happen. Oh. Oh. Oh, Do yeah. we just... Do we head down to the next level? And do we help? Do we help uh, uh, attempt to to fuck with? Oh, fuck with the. the <laughs> you can oh, say it. You can say fuck. Oh, go fuck on. with there it. You go. To fuck with Get it, it out. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, the other sides. Do we go? Do we tamper? Oh, well, they're doing a good job distracting. So let's go. <laughs> keep going. Let's go. We're doing right. a good job distracting. Oh, <laughs> I suppose now it's time for the next group a stealth check. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll roll my d20 here. Let's get one. Oh, you you fucking, called it. You, you fucking literally called it. I can only roll so many roll natural twenties. Eleven. Uh, Nineteen. I feel like I gotta get one twist. Get no. a twist. I haven't taken one today. Twist it. Yeah. One twist. It's well, one twist. Got twenty at the start of this. I'm a Viking at this, and there's no way I can run roll two natural. Yeah. Uh, I got a nineteen. Eleven 19, plus eight. Nineteen. Eleven. Eleven. Nine. We're really, we're really, really riding the line on this one. Uh, I want this to go wrong so bad. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have so much fun. Whose team are you on? Are you one of them? We're shrews. <laughs> we're mad dogs. Oh yeah. Cash you, let's give it to the boss now. <laughs> Tonight's time to get a little brought to you by the great taste of Charleston too. <laughs> <laughs> this has gone off the rails. This is all just a giant robot spear wag too. <laughs> oh my god, it is robot spear wag now! Oh okay. Uh, um, <clears throat> so you start to make your way no, down like the ladder from the top uh, gangway. Um, you, uh, you know. Rhett goes first, Pike follows, um, Augie's right behind, then Dandy, uh, LaBouche will go uh, last. And as you make your way down, um, you forgot for just a moment that you took your gauntlets off when you slooped in oh. to try and cut everything open. And oh, as no. you turned on your boots, 
Uh, you accidentally knock them off the top gangplank. Oh! And fuck. they both start to fall. Can I sloop and try to at least grab one of them? <laughs> I. I got a long gooey arm of the wall. You're distracted. You're distracted. You can take one deck saving throw. Ooh. I also rolled low. Nope. Mm-hmm. Natural fix, if you're counting my natural fix. <laughs> clang, clang, bong, clang, clang. As the gauntlets cascade against Armadillo, uh, and then Gangway, and then Armadillo, until finally they hit right on top of Mad Dog Dairy. Um, <laughs> Oh good, you found my glove! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the fuck is going on? Hey! Who's up there in game? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, as he yeah. looks up and Be sees... Be careful, Cashew! All, all of you looking over the, the edge of the gateway. Oh, no. Especially Labu, she's looking over like... <gasps> with, with, with his uh, like angry eyebrows, but in kind of a shocked expression. <laughs> uh, as he's looking down. Hey, Lou, they're up there trying to sabotage this thing! We gotta get in quick! Get it all wrapped up! That's uh, not true! Well, uh, no! <laughs> yeah, get them! <laughs> uh, and they will start yeah. to run in, they'll all start to filter into the base of the armadillo, into uh, into it and under it, as the, the whole junkyard gang takes its space. And this is a big machine, uh, and it takes quite a few people to uh, drive it and pilot it. Uh, and as they launch in, it will whir to life. You'll see... Uh, as it kind of rises up a little bit and the the uh, the metal sheets that are between everything uh, that keep everything together will start to uh, shift and move back and clank. As they start to take their places, but a couple of them shift in and you don't hear that solid, strong crashing of metal. You hear the, e- the aching sound of steel under pressure, uh, as it is, as a couple of them uh, uh, begrudgingly land into space. And as they start to shift back and and take their forms, you see them kind of uh, wiggle, wriggle around a little bit um, as uh, the, it it begins to to fully, uh, uh, come onto its feet and it stands up a little bit. Uh, it has a little uh, armadillo head that kind of pokes out right in front as it starts to take one step, two step, three step until the garage bay door opens up, uh, swings wide, and the armadillo walks out into the uh, into the junkyard in front of you. God damn it, Labouche! Uh, in the reality of when that happened, the second he drops it and we get noticed, uh, uh, this won't matter mechanically, but Rhett would immediately, like, it would start worrying. He'd try to pick off a few <laughs> as they're running oh, to, yeah. the, to the armadillo. Yeah, fuck those guys. Uh, I but, would say roll three attack rolls. Okay. Three of them are inside of the thing? Uh, like there are like, two, there are like 20 of them yeah. inside of the oh, thing. Okay. Yeah. Maybe less, depending on this roll. <laughs> Pretty, pretty good. good. Uh, the lowest is 19, I think. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> um, Drit. <laughs> we'll say, what's in the, yeah, roll, roll damage. Roll damage one time. Okay. For one attack or for three? Well, I'll just roll damage once. It'll apply to all three. Okay, here we go. Roll hot. Uh, I need one of these. And I need one of these. Ooh, uh, that was a one. That was a one. Oh, I thought oh, it was a seven. seven yeah, fuck. Was it a seven? I don't know. No, that was a one. Uh, yeah. Could six, tell. seven, uh, plus uh, six. That's still so good. Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen points of damage. As you see these massive uh, black and purple orbs fire out from the ether cannon as they cleanly sail through the sky and hit three, even we'll say a splash damage, four, uh, kind of these like hyenas that are running to 
uh, the the armadillo, <laughs> and they just get fucking obliterated. Uh, very battle. much shooting to kill. I, I, I have no that thing that I said about oh, keep the guards alive. Rest, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Totally changed this too. They're oh, just, yeah, they're, when, it, when it lands, they're like they flash that kind of like white and black silhouette <laughs> skeleton before they're entirely vaporized and their and their bones fall to the ground. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, that's that. Um, do I see where my, my gauntlets go? Yeah, you'd be able to see. They, they landed right on the floor. Nobody paid them too much attention or too much mind. Um, how, how far of a distance would you say I am from them at this point? Like 50 feet, 100? How you far? are... Well, you were already coming down kind of the top gangway. We would say you were probably about 30, 30 feet. Oh. Yeah. Maybe on the should we continue to sabotage or should we... It's walking out the fucking door. <laughs> it's walking out yeah. the door. Did you order a, an armadillo to go? Because there it goes. I ju- oh, I was going to make that joke, Red. I jump down and get my, ga- my gauntlets. I, I'll, uh, land, I'll land and, and I'll immediately secure them. That uh, core that Rhett was worried about, was that part of the ar- armadillo? It was in the top of the, top. the armadillo. Okay. The armor Armadillo. It was in the very top. There was like an opening that you were able to pull open between the yeah. panels of metal, and within it was the power core that was driving. So it walking out, has it done any damage to this like circular area gangway that we're on? When you kind of like let go of it and he fell back, it began to close it back up. So it's sealed within the armor. Oh, uh, okay. So it's not just like exposed to the to the outer elements. No, I mean the armadillo has like it moving now disrupted the, the, the scaffold planks, the scaffold. Oh, the yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. In that case. Yeah. So the, the garage door has flipped open and it's begun to walk out there but it was firmly like those spaces so that you could work comfortably were firmly attached yeah. to sections of the armadillo so it could be worked on they've never made it up to any other section of gangplank so actually great point thank you if <laughs> Ooh, any sorry. of you are standing on the gangplanks if this started to move uh they're now being torn out of the walls and they're shifting and crashing Jeez. and falling and if you are on an upper row where actually probably the four of you are probably on the ladder, um, which means that you will roll a deck saving throw at disadvantage. Oh, um, I'm so much and this. the two of you will just roll a deck saving throw. Does it feel like it would be unwise for okay. me in this moment to try to basically ha- 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 uh, hitch a ride on the on the armor armadillo? Like jump on it with my with my sticky speeches. Yeah, I would think that you would think. Yeah, that was a very good. Kashru, <laughs> follow my lead. <laughs> uh, I don't know who your lead is. Just do you trust me. Do you trust me, brother? No. From everything that they do in, in, in shrewd university. <laughs> <laughs> Disrupinity and beyond. <laughs> Witness me. Trust you, brother. That I can do it. That bridge model proves I can do it. <laughs> I'm going to run as we're there, and I'm going to uh uh. <laughs> Sail. It's, not, it's not gonna stick. I am going to reach out, and uh, a balloon will appear uh, in my hand as I cast Featherfall. Is nice. I will try to basically get distance and fall and slow fall and like basically stick my my sticky squeakers at the side of this. And I will run oh. behind. Him. Actually, <laughs> how tall is this thing? It's uh, forty stories. I mean, forty feet. Uh, Four stories tall. I'm gonna run. It's gonna, pretty. It's pretty fucking big. I'm gonna follow him. And as I jump, I'm gonna cast flight, and so the sands will come Fuck yeah. oh, underneath okay. me. Uh, you have a much better flight. <laughs> and I will head straight towards the the back of the armadillo and oh try and land on like a God. an area of, of what the hell flying. is going on? I thought this was gonna be one of those Prince of Persia, Persia scenarios where you yeah. back it up and you realize mechanically there's still no way for you to get to the level. And you have to restart. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that's, that's I run along the wall. <laughs> But do we need to roll something before that? Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. Why don't you roll a, still roll a deck save, okay, and then roll a, what is it? So what do you? The slow fall just allows you to slow uh, fall slower. Yes. Let me so let me just make sure. It may, it may actually 
not do anything, but I just thought it was funny. <laughs> The, the balloon thing was It slows up. the descent to game. 60 feet per round until the spell ends. So if you would... 60 feet per round? You're, you're falling, falling 60, 60 feet per round. You're falling 10 feet a second? So the idea is that as I'm jumping, the idea is to slow my fault to give me more... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me more yeah, distance. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Yeah. Uh, so... Oh, you gain 60 safe. feet of movement, basically, as you're falling. Roll a deck save. If I, if I, I guess it depends on how you roll momentum. I'm yeah. not entirely sure. No, yeah. no, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Roll a deck save. Uh, okay. Both of us? Uh, yeah, well, you're just flying, right? It says, yeah, so it says I gain 30 flight speed, and during which I can hover. So yeah, you take you're the just flying. You just, okay. you know, <laughs> oh, deck, you say? No, you you prints our feet. Flying, you know? I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hover just means that you can't like intentionally go vertically. Yeah. yeah. But like, but I can maintain my height. Speed, you can, I you can, can maintain fly. my height or go down. Or well, well, hover, this, hover, hover is basically flight generally means where you can't just stand still. Like, a, like yes, yes, wow. Correct. And just snipe. Oh. You have to keep moving. Right. But or, he can. So I can yes, fly can. and hover. Okay. Yes, you can. You're good. Dexterity saving throw, that'll be a 24. Okay, you 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 do it. <laughs> <laughs> you are on this gangplank is just tearing. It's shifting. It's almost like one of those bridges that's on the ocean water when a wave comes through, and it's just like it's like is it just bouncing? <laughs> uh, and then you run to the edge, and on a really uh, fortuitous uh, kick up from the bridge, you use that some of that momentum to toss you into the air. You take out your balloon uh, and you float until you land on the armadillo, uh, <laughs> adhering to its shell with your sticky boots. Okay. And you uh, do the same. You leap off into the air. The sand swirl around you, almost to becoming this kind of tornado of motion uh, as they solidify in a cloud at your feet. And you calmly just ride the 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 cloud Riding. over to him uh in, in also the two of you flying at the armadillo we're gonna do it brother we're gonna do something we're gonna do a cash room we're gonna take this beast down <laughs> boss has gone mad <laughs> We gotta do it for the, the good of the mad dogs. <laughs> I am <hate> role playing. <laughs> I completely lost myself in the madness. Yeah, of the yeah, madness. We are now. Yeah, I've completely lost We're myself. We're now and true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sh- uh, true. Uh, and everyone true else rolls. rolled a deck save as well, correct? Oh yeah, disadvantage. Yep. Uh, and I got I rolled a seven oh. as my low number, but with my plus eight, I got a fifteen. Okay, nice. that's fine. Six. Yeah, damn right I am. Six. <laughs> nine. Six. Nine. Nine. That's been confirmed oh, by the team. Yeah. Thirteen total. So the other three of you, as the scaffolding is cascading around you, uh, you'll crash to the ground in this kind of like shifting, uh, coalescing tornado of metal uh, as it lands on the ground in a plume of iron and dust. Uh, you, you crash down and you'll take nine points. Of no. <laughs> Damn. Um, I'll turn so that I fall and then Hank is like totally safe on my back. Yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do that and Hank is perfectly fine. Uh, and then like as it's all cascading to the ground, you uh, you lock onto a section of uh, guardrail that had split off Carry the one. and yeah. is fa- falling down. <laughs> Still kind of connected. It's almost like just disassembling from the wall, uh, like wall staple by wall staple as it's it's just uh, arcing out. Um, Almost like one of those poles they use in high jump where it bends perfectly and then yeah, pole vault. Uh, And then it kind of comes down. You grab onto that and it almost gently places you on the ground. Um, And you do that. You brush your shoulders. (laughs) I'll sit up, reach over, grab my gauntlets. Push them onto my arms, and then I'll. We have to get up to the armadillo. Uh, so are we? It's now just walking away, very slowly, <clears throat> but it is. Doom, Let's run. Doom. Um, doom. I will. Uh, let me sure the range is good. Uh, I'm gonna say we can't let that war machine get the fuck out of this hangar. Uh, and I'm going to uh, turn some knobs on my cannon. It's going to start to whir, and then a pinpoint beam of purple light will shoot at it if, if, I, if it's within 60 feet. Um, or if I'm not within 60 feet, I would run up to it until I was within 60 feet. 
Um, and right at the end of the beam, would you? It would like sort of coalesce and then go. And I want to cast Magnify Gravity in a twenty foot radius. What? Uh, and uh, all area. So you guys might be in it too. But anything in this sphere, oh. gravity all of a sudden increases like a ton, and it basically like grabs everything to the ground. Wow. Uh, it's difficult terrain until uh, the end of their next turn, I think. Wow. Um, and let me see here. They take some damage. If I can do that. So that's what I want to do. How big is this? Sphere? Oh, it, it, it is a con save. And it's a 20, 20, foot, 20 foot radius. Oh, no, it's, sorry, it's a 10 foot radius sphere. So it's wow. 20 feet in diameter. I mean, you just got to catch a little bit of them, you know? Like, yeah, that's awesome. Just got to tap yeah. them. Fuck yeah. It's not a huge radius, but it is a huge effect. What is the con save? 16. 16. Uh, so you race up to the back of this thing, boom, 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 boom. You tap in a couple of words on the on your ether cannon, uh, oh, and you fire out. Fuck yeah! Doom, and it almost knocks you back a little bit. The force of this blast, as this beaming light shoots out, squarely hits the armadillo in the side, and you can see its legs almost, and you can hear it viscerally as the metal almost crunches oh. under the weight of this structure. Uh, as it's uh, momentarily being pinned into the ground, basically in the in like halfway through the doorway of the garage, out into the open section of uh, junkyard. Uh, so did it fail? Yeah. Okay. Let me just do some. And I would. I mean, I don't know what it does to them, but I would say that you guys. How high up would you say? If they're in it, you have to make con saves and oh. just resist against the increased. Uh, so rate. my question would be, if. If whether or not we were just caught in it, or if we had time to react to it. Well, I think it's only it's us two. he's beaming the it's armadillo. The, yeah, we're fine. It's only behind it. I'm good. Behind behind it. I'm the good then. I I'm shoot good. it and yeah. ba basically. Uh, okay. What's the save? Con. It's a con save DC 16. Ah, uh, 15. <laughs> yeah, oh, I I crush it. You don't have your inspiration still. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you, you do. I haven't used my martial Use it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Use it. Oh. What's the What's the addition? <laughs> Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a D8. It's a D8. So you just add D8 to it. Oh, yeah, I added D8. D8. So yeah, yeah. you just get, so uh, you can't like, fail because you you're on. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. 17. Oh, you feel oh it spread and then suddenly it pulls the ranch bottle. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. It, yeah. and I chug it. Like, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> and the sand gets more intense from the ramps. Uh, that's exactly. Woo! Uh, oh, so gosh, it's that's good. Nine points of force damage. Uh, it's so you guys take four points of damage. It's okay. halved. Um, its speed is halved oh, until points. the end of its next turn. And then, if there is any object that's not being worn or carried in the sphere, it requires a strength save to basically pick up and move. Oh, you can't stop the armadillo from running out into the junkyard and just making a mess. You can't stop Mad Dog Dairy from turning it all up. You think you can, but if you want to even try, oh, I'll put you in the ground so far down. They won't be able to find you with even something that's real long. Uh, and Pike, it's you. I was ready for the cream to rise at the top. Um, <laughs> No, I am savage. going to, uh, as soon as I see that this thing is, is far away and uh, two of my friends are on top of it, I feel the need to get there as quickly as I possibly can. I'm sorry, just for frame of reference, I apologize. What it's done, what you're looking at in this moment is it has turned to face you. Yeah, well, uh, it better. Uh, <laughs> and oh. it has, from the gravity, it has planted into the ground a little oh. bit. So mm. Kavir and Chuckles are on it, yeah. But it looks as though it's a little. Uh, it looks as though it's it's encompassed in the armor. Uh, so, uh, uh, knowing that the diameter of the the sphere is twenty, right? Mm -hmm. I would endeavor to find a spot uh, around this thing that is not within the the well, the gravity well, right? It's twenty feet across. Yeah, so it would be like because this thing's huge. Bit, yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, he's. Way bigger. It's like forty. He's like forty feet tall, right? So there's got to be part of it that's outside of the well. Yeah, right? yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, Reasonable. We'll, we'll say that what's happened is when you blasted it, the uh, I mean, I'll, the ether gravity. I'll fucking go in there. I'm not scared. Interacted with the metal I'm not scared. and just the actual structure itself it of is. the armadillo is it's, is blasted. It's down. a one-time thing where you shoot it and then everything within the sphere gets affected by gravity, but it's done now. So I'm so good. It's yeah. not hanging there, you're good. Okay, yeah. um, I will channel uh, one key point 
and I will use a Step of the Solar Wind to be able to dash as a bonus action Damn. to move oh, 90 oh, feet. Thing. So uh, I move what? I move faster than you've ever seen me move before, and I'm actually leaving a trail of like like stuff like solar dust and, wow. and solar light oh, behind me as I you dash. Tron, you basically Tron yes. like yes. Yes. you yes. Vapor without, wave. It being, without it being yeah. so sharp. It's more yeah. like it's it's dust yeah. and, yeah. and, and yeah. radiant waves. You're DeLoreaning waves. and yeah. the yeah. motorcycle yeah. light from yeah. Akira, right? When yeah. The, yeah, yeah. There's like yes, there's like a streak it's in a motion. motorcycle going across yeah. the city skyline. Uh, right? uh, and, and, uh, the neon nights, the little cars at the bottom yeah. that have yeah. stuff behind yeah. them. And then that's exactly fucking right. When I get there, I will just use my action. To make two attacks, uh, using ch channeling that same radiant energy to hope that I can try to damage uh, some of oh. this metal uh, uh, machine thing with my with my uh, fists. It's not gonna feel good, but I'm gonna do what I can. You know? Good. <laughs> ah. uh, that's gonna be the low. Is gonna be a sixteen to hit. Sixteen will hit. Okay. All right. Are you touching the thing? The actual armadillo? armadillo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fists are coming in contact with it. You got to get off that uh, thing. That's going to be uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 25 points of damage over two attacks. I can tell you if radiant matters, I can split that up. Uh, you blast forward from your spot on the line. This. Uh, ether tail of uh, beautiful magenta light stretches out behind you as you dash forward faster than uh, anyone's seen you move. Your hands glow with this magenta orange light and as you run even that trails behind you almost creating the effect of uh, wings as you dash forward. Uh, you race up to the armadillo and you start to strike into it. And as you land your blows, you realize that you're connecting with uh, portions of soft metal. And you get the sense that if you had not uh, heated this in certain spots, you would not be landing the blows currently. Ooh. Oh, let's uh, go. And as you strike into weakened spots, you also at this moment will get the sense that it's not doing as much damage as you think it may have normally. Yeah. Uh, but you have landed every hit as you as you just blast in solidly with a couple of blows, and you hear the creaking of iron as your fist strike true. I'm satisfied. Could be. That's my turn. Um, being on uh, the armadillo. Yes, you're back. on the armadillo. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. I'm gonna yeah. shout. Oh, I know. Get off of it! <laughs> Stop touching it! Not yet. <laughs> um, as we're clearly still in true form, <laughs> uh, how, f uh, where I am on the armadillo, can I see any of the uh, weak spots that the the team had uh, uh, attacked or sabotaged? Um, you would know. I mean, you were right beneath them, so you saw kind of what they were doing. Yeah. Uh, so we'll say, yeah, you would know kind of like where those spots are and have an innate sense of kind of like how to necessarily strike at them if that's what you're endeavoring okay. to, to find yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, do we know how far? Are Chuckles and I like right next to each other? Are we? You're probably a little I above mean, me. You were flying. You're flying. So oh, we'll true. say that you could have landed wherever you would have chosen to land mm -hmm. on the armadillo should should you have like attempted to land like next to him. I'd probably try to land closer to the top. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you're close, yeah, you can be kind of wherever you would, you would choose to be yeah. on it. All right. Uh, well, from here, uh, <laughs> I'm going to look for the... Uh, can I see the the uh, enclosure that 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 uh, core is in? The enclosure, the core. Oh, is that on its front or it's, you said sort of? That top, was right? on its top, basically on the square top of its back, mm. um, and you wouldn't necessarily net, like be able to see it too much, but you'd have a general sense of where it is. I'd like to attack where I think that general area is. <laughs> um, and I'm going to uh, cast Fury of the Sandworms. Oh, oh what? Uh, what the hell? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> 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 uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna open my my uh, hourglass, and the the sands are gonna kind of form at my feet, and they're gonna swirl around, kind of like what what's keeping me me flying. But then all of a sudden. I'm gonna move my left arm and my right arm, and then you're gonna see these two visages of sandworms just come up, oh, and then I'm gonna slam down. Damn. Um, dealing 4d6 damage. Oh, 
what you see around looks, me. starts to Control be kind of like life. a small <laughs> a small collection of sand at your feet as you're flying uh, erupts furiously behind you. These twin arcs of almost giant hydras of the sand as they arc over you, uh, snarling uh, in their their fanged descent crashes down on this armadillo. Yeah, it needs damn. a uh, saving oh. throw of 16. What kind uh, of strength? Strength. 13. 13. Uh, so then I will cast it. I will take 4d6 damage. Let's see. Which one's the 6 again? So it's the diamond looking one, right? 6 sided no. is the regular looking one. Uh, yeah, the, the square, square ones, the right? Duh. Duh. Yeah, cube. <laughs> Duh. Cube. <laughs> Cube the cube. cube. Yeah, you've got pyramid. You've got cube. Like cuber. You've got two mm-hmm. pure pyramids having a, making a baby. Four, Twelve. No, they're yeah. not making a baby. They're doing 13. the butts together. Oh, ass to ass. <laughs> the moon landing. They're doing uh, eight cities. Uh, so it's <laughs> 13, 13 points of damage. Back so. and Ooh. forth forever. Um, That's very funny. Oh, and then they it failed its saving throw, so it takes 2d6. Uh, so that's another 6 damage, so that's 19 total damage. Damn. Uh, on, it's technically necrotic damage, um, but I sort of flavor it as, like, decay. Like, time. Mm. Time yeah. decay. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It starts to rust. Uh, yeah. God and damn it. That's cool. It can't, yeah. it can't take reactions until its next turn. Oh. Uh, as these twin snakes... Uh, it, it just it just descend upon the armadillo as their fangs pierce into uh, its its shell and the sands explode and crash around it. Uh, where they impacted, you can see a layer of rust start to form over the top uh, of its uh, shell. Um, you now see, uh, though it had been uh, kind of st- like crushed down and fully encased in the shell, uh, it ascends just a little bit as its uh, paws move out under it, and it kind of picks itself up on its feet. And then the armadillo head once again peeks out. Uh, and as it does, its eyes, its mechanical eyes will flash red for a moment as it scans the room. Uh, and it will pick up on all uh, life forms in the area. Uh, and it will move to Chuckles. Oh shit. Oh. Chuckles' his turn. Oh, I was like, oh, no. gonna, yeah, it starts, it gets a giant job. back scratch. Attack while its tail's up. This so, is a myth translation. <laughs> <laughs> so just, um, so just to be clear, is this, as far as like for mechanical purposes, mm-hmm. is this armor uh, dillo like basically a, a creature for all mm-hmm. intents and purposes that's separate from everyone inside? Um, or is well, it an object? Or is or, it an object, yeah. Uh, or is it, I mean, yeah, if it's an object, it doesn't, I guess, I, if it's an object, I would try to do. So a vehicle guess, being piloted by, piloted by several people. But you would consider the whole armadillo to be a single object. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, that doesn't work well for me. Like, okay. Well, sure you, you know, feel, feel yeah. free, feel free to interpret this however you want. Okay. Feel I'll, free to interpret this however you want. I don't know what you're about. This ought to be good. Some shady uh, shit. Some shady <sighs> shit's going on down here. I will dodge the sandworm and I'll say... That's right, uh, cash root, give him hell. <laughs> and I'll pull out my wrench and I'll, and I'll like uh, kind of scratch oh my myself. God. And I'm like, something off about this. Oh, here's the problem. And there will be a large rubber plug, like of an, an inflatable, like uh, arm, like an inflatable tube or something. They're just really large. And I am uh, going to just uh, grab uh, the hold of it and I'll just try to rip it, uh, uh, unplug it. And you'll need to make a constitution saving throw for the object. Um, constitution saving throw, yeah. <laughs> yep. 14. DC 16. Um, <laughs> I cast, re- uh, I do, do, oh, I I cast reduce. <laughs> reduce? And so it, oh, it its deflates. size would be half. <laughs> But there are people inside. Everybody dies. Yeah. Not anymore. 
<laughs> I think I think they would also get reduced. That's yeah, it's up to you. That's yeah, up to you. You, you got cool. dreads, Mace. Yeah, you have dreads. You have dreads. Yeah. Dreads. Here's the problem. I would think he kills the people inside. For us, I want to hear what you think it would do. Or how you, what you Yeah, I'm do. curious. I want to try one more time. One more they time. get crushed and they come out like tomato paste. <laughs> <laughs> it was less both times. <laughs> That's fate, man. Damn. <laughs> However you want to rule that. <laughs> or you could just have like parts of them are objects. It's not like all one thing. However you want to do it. Tiny <laughs> food. Yeah, sure. Like a tube of tea. Oh, here's the... I to do something object related. So, this so is am I. Oh. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Why does suddenly everyone have object-related moves? <laughs> you I also know. would like to okay. use object-related moves. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. I'd like to punch the object. Uh, <laughs> What's it small? Like, take that. Oh, I yeah, I can take my object. stock uh, on him. I will say... Everyone to rule what? Um, that that's very cool. Um, but no. I'll give you a portion of it. Uh, it will use a legendary reaction uh, to shrug off as much of that influence as it can. So it will only reduce by 10 feet in total. Okay. Which would shave off. Uh, it's still very imposing, um, but it has sized down uh, quite noticeably. 25%. Uh, and you'll see where the leg pilots were, just oozes of blood will start to come oh, out. Oh, 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 did you wait, did you say legendary resistance? Yep, reaction. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, legendary resistance or reaction? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's huge, man. Um, nice job. I am... Uh, well done. Well handled. Um, okay, and then I will. Uh, I'll say, "Oh, you finished the last one, <coughs> bro. Here's another. I'm gonna throw another ranch bottle <laughs> as I give you bardic inspiration. Uh, as I am going to uh, then uh, try to walk down it and basically back like back away from it. Mm. Smart move. If possible. <laughs> or if it'll do opportunity attack. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try to basically jump off and then run as far as I can. Do you still have your balloon, your slow fall? Is that still active? I think it's only a minute. I don't know if it's been a minute actually. I was gonna say, we haven't had a whole round. Feather oh, fall. Is this guy's self concentration? No. Oh wow. No. That's very cool. Uh, I will say that it is gonna take an opportunity mm. attack. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh, I gave my life to this company. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you this is how you're dreaming. <laughs> oh fuck! This is how you're oh, shrinkles, 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 Get through. Seventeen. Tell Ma, I'm sorry. <laughs> Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. I, I, I'm fucked. Shrinkles <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, that it. You'll see as a uh, like a shoulder gun. Uh, will open up in a panel right towards the front of it, and it'll zzz, and it'll uh, beeline onto you, and then uh, two. Uh, oh, it can't blasts. use reactions. Because well, oh yeah, it can't use reactions. Oh, <laughs> cash room, you saved my life, bro. <laughs> I knew, I knew your love of worms growing up would I, always save the you day. See, you see the uh, you see the the worms grab the the turret and just hold it back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well fucking done. He's always like, okay, that was too powerful, so I'll tune it down. That wasn't powerful enough, so I'll tune it up. That was way too powerful, so yeah, I'll tune it down. Yeah. Oh god, okay, combat sucks. You're gonna have to kill us. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, uh, that was my turn. That's yeah, it. Yeah, you're fine. It's red. <laughs> uh, it's red. Um, I will do run. your object related thing, baby. Uh, so whatever you will let me do, I'm going to run up here. Do you need to maintain concentration on the thing? The gravity? No, no it just, it just it happened. It was gone. That's why I was able to get in an attack. Got it. Without getting my spine crushed. So I'm going to run up here. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, if I can, I will, uh, still on my beam setting, but I'm going to turn another knob and you'll hear it whir again and shoot a, a, a dark purple beam as it connects and it's gonna be shooting gravitons at this thing. Concentrating, concentrating, you'll see whatever I'm, I'm aiming at, whatever part of it you'll let me do, I like to heat metal. Oh um, shit. And uh, <laughs> technically it's an object, so whatever part of the object you'd like me to heat. Like maybe the legs, head, body. Um, I'll give you a choice. Um, you can attempt to target its sides. What the fuck? Oh, 
You can attempt to target its sides or its mouth. Its sides? Or so it has the sides yeah. of the armadillo. Yeah. So left side, right or side. Of mouth. every body part, you're going to give us an option to target. Those are two I would have never guessed with the <laughs> options. Uh, I'm going to target the mouth. Okay. Um, and nice. I just basically point the beam right in its face. Yeah. And you'll start to see it get just like red hot. Yeah. Um, and uh, if Your screams there are any creatures in contact with it, alive, man. they need to make a. Uh, oh, they just take the 2d8 fire damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really fantastic. <laughs> Heat metal is, is pretty fucked. <laughs> and so, how they can it's avoid it is spell. me breaking concentration. Or uh, you're, just, you're, just, you're just heat in the face, 2d8 every turn? As long as it stays heated and I maintain concentration, anything so in contact rich. with the face that I'm heating will take 2d8 fire, fire. damage. <laughs> fun, fun fact for those watching at home, heat metal is especially fun when you run into enemies with metal teeth. <laughs> <laughs> What are you going to do about oh, that shit? Uh, so Nothing. If, if there's anyone Die. in contact, I would roll, but if there's not, I wouldn't roll. So it's up to you. Well, I, wait, roll for what? For damage. Basically, fire damage. Roll for, for the damage. damage, I assume, hits the, the object itself, right? It it can't. It can. But like, Jen, there aren't really good rules for like damaging an object, right? Yeah, it, you can't heat. Just roll You should damage. roll, and then just don't tell us yeah, what happens. Roll yeah. the damage. <laughs> and then, yeah, we'll figure it out. Exactly. Just roll the damage, and then we'll, you know, we'll go on with our lives. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. That's good. And our people aren't touching it, right? I'm not the, I'm not not the not head. No, I don't think so. Right. I think, yeah, you'd be able to. Your you're hand good. Is you get there. the sense that as you blast out uh, and you target onto this. Well, actually, roll an investigation check. In the heat of battle, and you're upset, probably. Yeah. He's incensed. 12. Incensed is right. Um. You get the sense that what you've just done uh, has done a very serious amount of damage. Wow. <sighs> nice job. Uh, get him uh, to stay grim with determination. Oh. The armadillo, armadillo, excuse me, mm -hmm. um, oh, wow. will now do the following. Uh, it will, uh, even against all the gravitational pull and the heated face and whatever the else fuck is going on. <laughs> it's also it smaller will, and it's weak. It's also <laughs> smaller. Here, probably, um, it will pop up uh, mildly on its feet, and it will take in in the air. It will shift into a ball in the form of uh, a rolling ball, and it will move across what? the room directly at me. Are you sure? And this is how it'll work. The whole room. Everyone that is close, so the three people though that, that are closest, will roll a deck save at disadvantage. The person in the center. We'll roll a deck save solid. And whoever that is closest to me on the left, That's my left. Labouche. Labouche will roll a deck save at advantage. And Dandy is safe. Well, certainly, because I've got danger. Sense. Is that Dandy to his right? Dandy's to the right. That that, that would, she would be safe. Question. With me sort of hovering. Natural on one. Back, how would you like to handle this? Oh my god. Is still the deck save? Even with you hovering, he's leaping upwards first. Oh God, I'm so I would say you would still like roll a deck save. Yeah. But because you're flying, are you just still flying? Yeah, it, it lasts for 10 minutes. Yeah, he's just cast, he's just using the okay, spell. Can, can, can you adjust the deck camera? save? Oh, flat. Um, okay. I'm going for it. I'm, I'm, due. I'm due. I thought this was the good dice. <laughs> I didn't I say know. if my bonus action, Hank oh. would have left off my back and then sprinted the rest of the way up to him. <laughs> to immediately get rolled over. <laughs> Oh, All right. <laughs> is there any kind of potential attacks of opportunity, or is this a yes. uh, flyby free pass? Uh, if you attempt to take an attack of opportunity, it would be a disadvantage. Because hmm. it is now fully armored and moving very uh, fast. Yeah, 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 fuck that. And I'm, you're getting rolled up. Uh, yeah, I already got crossed. I'm going for it. Yeah, fuck okay. that. If I'm getting hit, I'm. I'm hit I'll, I'll, I'll take the same. Nope, I miss. <laughs> okay. I was due. <laughs> One moment, I'm gonna take- Two bad rolls in a row. Yeah. Attack of love opportunity here. Oh my God. <laughs> Hank might actually succeed here. Hold on. <laughs> oh my God, Hank. Well, I don't know what the, the DC is, but Thanks I assume I fail. Hank. All right, uh, 26 to hit. 26 to hit? I've rolled four 18s in a row. Uh, no, the 26 <laughs> to hit. Oh, and that was all 18s? Yeah. Oh my God, okay. he's proficient too. Um, so, you, yeah, you would hit. Um, 
I'll, I'll roll dice to damage you then. So the, so the AC, just because Spikes discovered it, is 16. Even in this mode? In the armored mode, it is 16. However, even if you land a blow in the armored mode, you will uh, you spot. will reveal that it is yeah. taking less damage. Yeah. Um, but you can still hit um, when it is standing. Well, that's all you get. Uh, I it, punch it in its armored dick. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> and I yeah. do uh, 28 points of bludgeoning damage. Jesus. Shit. Okay. <laughs> It's not too shabby. Like it it goes over me with like a like oh, the, stepping on a gum, 10, but I'm just fail. like Hank yep. gets an 18. I got Hank a two. Brett gets a um, seven. You fail. 13. Fuck. You fail. I got 21 on my deck. Deck save. You didn't have one. You didn't have one. I'm over here. Thank goodness I got off of that. I'm getting smushed. Everyone who failed. We'll take 18 points of blood oh damage God. as the armor dillo leaps die. up into the air. Oh, nice. And then Bad just ass. rolls like, all the way across yeah. the room in a straight line, crushing everyone in its path. Fuck. Um, and you dealt a solid blow. As you were leaping out of the way, you got <laughs> crushed. One of your uh, oh, you just I kind of like the idea mind. that it stepped on me, but yeah. it was like stepping on gum, and so like, <laughs> so I, like stretch when he comes out, and I'm still punching yeah. it and exactly. pulling that away. Yeah. So you'll take half damage. Okay, I'll take nine. Uh, oh, so Hank, I'm resistant to bludgeon. Yeah, so I'll take half. Hank as well. will take half. Oh shit! Nice. All right, everybody, calm down. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I took the full so, amount. Yeah, Don't worry. Thank God. Yeah. 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 Be worried for a second, um, and as it lands on the other side of the room, it will once again uh, pop up for a moment. As it turns around on the far side of the room, and then on its sides, you will see um, giant twin cannons will erupt out of the sides. Oh uh, yeah! And it is dandy. Is it turn. still a roly poly or is no? It, it is exposed now. So Did, its mouth? It's, its head has come out. You can its still hit it in its have, mouth. Have point. Yeah, you get it in its mouth. If you, want to <laughs> you can try. <sighs> when its feet are up, its head is extended out, and it has extr- extended uh, massive cannons on either side of its body. Did it have to hit the wall to stop, or did it yep. land? No, it hit the wall to stop. <laughs> Does it look like it took any damage from that? Nah. Nah. It okay. looks fine. Just yeah. check it. Gashru, this is just like Big Funk is 64. Not again. <laughs> I'm like, but I'm like questioning it. Like, wait, I don't remember. Yes, yes, that's exactly like that. We'll play when we get back on the Rhapsody when we get some leave from the gang. These masks had some weird. Like, so surely. <laughs> mental. <sighs> so I look over at Labouche next to me and I say, did you know that armadillos are extremely stupid? animals. If you just pick up their tail and bang them on something, they just they just get knocked out. Is that, that crazy? You are a very good friend. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted you to know. But I take after the only father I've ever known, Rhett. And I'm gonna cast heat metal towards the mouth. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mad dog you shout out know just how that goes. <laughs> oh yeah, a girl with daddy issues wants to grab my tail. You can come on down in town, sweetheart. And it. As you shoot heat metal out of it. It's gonna take uh, eight plus eight. It's just fifteen points of damage. Huh? In the mouth, fifteen points of damage. It's, it's very. What, what did you roll to hit? Oh, you did you roll to hit, hit. metal? No. no. Oh, shit. no. We well, gotta be like magma and lava, like volcanoes. Yeah. Like oh volcanoes. man, as the ruby light glows around you, blast out from your core what looks like almost a, a beam of magma Ooh. as it extends out like a volcano erupting. It draws this line between you and the armadillo as all your bullshit attacks just land. <laughs> um, and it did how much damage? Uh, 15. 15. Uh, and Labouche. In the mouth. Yeah, <laughs> Specifically in the mouth. It's red right hot. In the mouth. Yeah, that is. <laughs> 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 that is a pretty stupid thing. <laughs> <You cannot. laughs> <laughs> to get knocked out of your smash, <laughs> smash against the wall. <laughs> the dumbass. <laughs> that would never work on me. That would never work on me. <laughs> 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 
I will, uh, hearing Dandy's uh, wisdom, I will uh, clamp forward one step, two step, three step, and I will jump. Um, in addition to my level six ability, which gives me like hyper mega super duck jumping, which I crush another 18, that's five in a row. That's very strange. Jeez. I will land on the back and I will grab the tail. You try. <laughs> Um, I'm not attempting to grapple, I'm just talking flavor. I'm actually going to attack once. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. First attack, reckless. Mm -hmm. 17 hits. I need to roll. I need every dice roll. Uh, five and nine. Okay. Wow. You are in trouble. And another yeah. a reckless attack, natural mm -hmm. 20. Oh! 19 and 20. 19 and 20. Oh, shit. All right. What so that's going to be three of these. Load. And. Do you need more of them? No, 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 no. Uh, I just need four. That's all. Damn. That's all, he says. Uh, let's Huge. go 20, Huge. 19, on, 24, still... plus 10, uh, 34 uh, points of the bludgeoning as I attempt to. Is that break... just the nat 20? No, oh, that's, that's, all everything. that's everything. Yeah, okay. all, all bludgeoning damage as I attempt to uh, suplex a train. I'm essentially using the uh, advice that Dandy gave me, and uh, <laughs> I don't say anything. You just hear me uh, bubble and squeal as I attempt to like throw, I throw this fucking armadillo. For that twenty, that's pretty good. So what what does it look like? Is you will have uh, stretched out with your arms, and you have just slingshot yourself through the air towards the back. As you landed, you have landed in a gigantic slamming attack towards the base of this armadillo. And you have discovered there is, in fact, a tail. You leap down briefly towards the back. Yeah, Bowser, you shift the tail yeah. over your shoulder. And you, with all your might, heave it forward in a ferocious blast. And it will lift off the ground. Uh, as it goes, and it slams into the back wall and then cascades back down to the ground. Uh, and <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Laboosh! Thank you, Dandy! Uh, technically, it wouldn't be a large creature, so that actually works rules as written. <laughs> it's raw, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Is Bowser an armored Dio? <laughs> well, I think so. I think he's, a, he's, a, he's a turtle. He's, like he's a, just a turtle dinosaur. I love uh, armored Dio sauce. Um, and that was 34. Oh, my that's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are off the rails, Curious brother. About this <laughs> you are just, you are so in the deep end. <laughs> We can't save you. You're going. You're yeah, lost. Yeah. I saved the entire person. He's lost. Uh, so yeah, Labou you can move him off the wall just five feet, so Labouche can stand just right behind him. Um, is it is it like knock prone? Is it is it just slide back down, stand? No, no, it was all just really fucking cool. Right? You know, it was all yeah, just it lands back on it. He puts it right back where you yeah, 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 exactly. Sure. Boom! Boom! Ugh. Everyone inside is like, oh, fuck, that was one hell of a suplex. I didn't even see it coming once. I'm not even mad about it. He's, oh, man. I got you for two holes. From minutes. the ropes, from the ropes, he hit him with the chair. Oh, You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I won't do Mad Dog anymore. Uh, I like that. Uh, what do you mean, boss? It's just rough. It's <laughs> Sorry that it come to this. It was inevitable given our backstory. Uh, <laughs> that'll be the conclusion of my turn. Uh, and it will act. Uh, Fuck. Once again, you yeah. will see the. Uh, you will see even from the from the shell. Anyone probably in front of it will see that familiar blue glow mm -hmm. as you hear also a familiar sound uh, of. Is that what your cannons are? Um, that sounds eerily familiar to uh, Rhett's cannons warring up. Not nearly as clean, though. Not, not nearly as clean. It does it absolutely like crackles. sound yeah, crackly I, I and chaotic. I meant to move away. Um, and it's, not, <laughs> it's, not that, uh, it's not that same... Uh, it's not that same uh, kind of like... I'm going to take a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> now it is going to fire... 
from both cannons. Oh, boy. Uh, and it is going to endeavor to hit everyone uh, in front of it that it can. It will fire the first orb from its right cannon uh, between, ideally, Dandy and whoever that is just in front of her. Red? Red. Red. They're pretty okay. far. Well, it will have a radius of 10 feet. A radius of 10 feet? Oh, yeah. This is a 20 foot. Yeah, that can get him. Yeah, okay. one, two, three. It could be literally be all this whole. I meant to just step back like <laughs> 10 feet. Everyone. Well, it will also, it will fire both. Mm. Okay, it's, so black. Fire it's two blasts. First. It's not a. It's two, it's two blasts. I think right it's, it's a circle. circle. I think it's like a circle. Yeah, yeah. Here. yeah it's a circle. Oh, not, not a, yeah. Not a, yeah. Not a I don't think, think they can. That's not a girl. hit both no. of them. So it'll get just dust dandy here and then whatever lob. If you want to basically lob it here. Yeah. Ew, or yeah. lob it here. However, however many people it can hit. Wherever it can maximize. The maximize people. would be here as far as I There's yeah. one. That would be one. And, and, this, and, and then you dandy. can choose to hit Dandy or Red. Okay. Or Chuckles. Yeah, or Chuckles. Um, I'm over here. Or Labush. Oh, no. You uh, could technically hit Labush. Yeah. Well, I might hit well, him too. Well, not with the cannons. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, it's like, how just be, now just be goofy. I just suplexed the train. Um, it will fire off the first cannon towards Dandy, and then the second towards the collection of three in the yeah. back. Um, <laughs> and you will have to make deck saves of fifteen. Ooh, hey. I'm crawling. Okay, but straight up. Uh, huh? Straight up. De- deck save. Yeah, straight yeah, up. Yeah. Not disadvantage. Fifteen, not- oh, this- mother clucker. All right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, good. I got, straight got straight a 22. Yeah, 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 I gotta okay. twist this for Hank. Uh, a custom. Hank, Hank, don't let Hank get blasted. Oh, mm, we're good. Yeah. This looks real solid. 22. That's what I got. Nice job, Hank. Okay, so the DC is 15. Anyone in those spots, if you fail, you will take 17 points of force damage oh as God. these, uh, and once again, when you see Rhett's blasts Wait. fire out, they are these like eerily perfect uh, circles. And you know how like if anybody ever tells you to draw a circle, yeah. you, can never, you can never get it perfect, yeah. right? No. These are like perfectly formed orbs that leave the cannon and arc out. These are warbling chaotic masses of blue and black Cheap energy imitation. as they fire. And when they land, they explode out in odd, oddly expanding cacophony. Um, but Jesus. they deal uh, similar damage in a way, and they create zones of crushing uh, gravitational pull. Whoa. Uh, and so anyone Yikes. who oh, fails that makes sense. will take 17 points of damage. You take half that on a success. Deep. So, um, okay. And... Come on, hang uh, hang if you passed, well, that's fine. You just t- you just you take half the damage. Cool. Um, We're not affected by the gravity. Well, it we will be, it will be relevant at the start of your turn if oh. you are within the gravitational pull. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Pike, are you within the gravitational He's in pull? Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, if you would like to tell me what I have to do, and then I'm going to counter proposal. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you. you will have no, to no, make... it's a counter proposal. I can be told that it doesn't work. You will have to make a strength saving throw. Uh, what if I choose to, as a bonus action, just teleport 30 feet away? Uh, you may do that. Okay. So, what I would do is, as I see this orb coming in, I'm still radiating in this uh, yeah. this 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 solar light. Yeah. Uh, as soon as I I roll to get out of the way of this uh, this energy orb and it explodes. I take some damage from the shrapnel, uh-huh. uh, but I use the momentum of my like roll to, pull on, you know? to, yeah. to, to use solar step yeah. to, to step 30 <sighs> feet forward. And then if I have to still make a roll, I'm happy to. Uh, no, you're out of it. Yeah, Ten. so you as it comes in, the blast st- starts to send you out. It's, it blasts out. You almost uh, like uh, kind of balloon out and it starts to suck you back in. And then as you, the second you begin to feel it pull on you, uh, with one foot only on the ground, an explosion of magenta light, you disappear 30 feet forward. Uh, and when uh, the when the, the magenta light flashes and I land on the other side, I actually stumble a little as I come out of this solar step. Yeah. And then I regain my composure and I use 45 feet of movement to get to the robot. Uh, uh, and then I will, uh, as I'm running at the robot, I'll jump up and make two kick attacks. And from my feet, you'll see the same radiant energy as I attempt to, to kick this thing twice. I love Pike. Eh. I love Pike so much. Oh, uh, one's gonna miss, the other one's gonna hit. Um, so just one attack. Eh. 14, 14 points of damage with one attack. 
14 points of damage. You run up with your solar energy pooling off of your kicks as you toss them out side by side. The first, you can't quite find the weak spot, but the second, you kick just a little bit higher without bringing your leg all the way back. Wham, wham, right as it lands in. You hear that familiar creak uh, of breaking uh, steel as you find uh, your spot and you land your blow. Uh, Kavir. Uh, impressed with uh, uh, Pike's reactions as I also yeah, uh, because I'm still technically flying. Uh, I'll sort of dodge to the side where before you'll see the sands that were holding me up now swirl around me and I use what was previously called Misty Step and now called Chronal Displacement oh. uh, to teleport 30. That's right. Um, let's say so 30 Time freezes here, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, right? Yeah. That's very right. funny. Uh, and that's a, a, a bonus action. Um, so then now I can take an actual action or is it, do I have to take an action to take a bonus action? No, 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 no you're no, good. No, bonus action. Okay, right? You may now take any yeah. action you'd like. Take your action. Um, sure. And then I am going to cast... Uh, uh, Sandblast. Um, so that is two. And I cast bum, bum, it technically bum, twice. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, so it's two beams. So it's two. Twice. Oh, Kavir awful. man. Uh, yeah, you're probably good. Um, Eight, 18. Well, definitely. Yeah, it's 18, 18 and, a, and a 7. Ah, so the 7. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's uh, yeah, that's all right. And then 2d8. Acceptable money. Yeah. Eight. Uh, is eight and seven, so that's fifteen points of damage. So I sling um, after I've teleported. I will then sling because I'm still a shrew. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll sling these sandals. Yeah, one takes the form yeah. of, of uh, Shrackles and the other one takes the form of Ashru. Yeah. And they hit the... Uh, Let's go! Uh, one of them will miss Let's and then the other one You don't have to use back. your inspiration on a d20 roll if you wanted to increase the damage by the 1d8. Just, uh, oh, just interesting. Think about oh, yeah. Think about yeah. Well, you do I rolled a 7 and an 8. On the D8s. The no, 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 you're not replacing anything. You, just, just add you can just add a, if an, an wanted, additional yeah, D8 you if you want to. Uh, 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 I have yeah. played a bard for many years. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to, I'm not yeah. thinking you have to. You I should might, save it for a saving throw, maybe. Based on my maybe. health, I might have to save it. Yeah. yeah um, and then cool. the, uh, let's see, the Sands of Time will also act uh, in my um, favor as well. And uh, it will allow me to throw another d6 piercing damage using the sand. So it's five, seven, so 12, and then 20 total damage. Damn, what? The, additional? Uh, that's no, just total. Total, total. total. So oh. I had 15 before, and then five. So this is another uh, five. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Um. <coughs> uh, I'm glad you made that proposal. That's pretty. <laughs> you will see. Uh, you will see, uh, uh, oh gosh, this is funny. Um, you'll see uh, as the armadillo uh, will so begin, it will take its motion as if it looks like he's about to leap back up in the air uh, and take its armored form and roll. And just before it does, uh, you'll hear from the sidelines, long forgotten character. Oh, look out, everybody! I think he's gonna roll again! Use one of these! Uh, and everyone, should you have it for this round, can attempt a reaction uh, as its head is exposed and is beginning to leap into the air. Um, uh, Augie has thrown a, uh, for lack of a better word, a TNT barrel into the air. <laughs> Uh, and anyone who would like to attempt to redirect it towards the armadillo can attempt a reaction for a d20 roll. I will. Yeah, I'll do that as well. Or if you'd like to keep your reaction, you may opt out. Is he is he actively rolling the arm armadillo? <laughs> he's not yet. He lo he's he's like lowering down. It looks like he's about to leap into the air. So the TNT barrel is flying in the, the air. TNT barrel is like arcing into like. So he's throwing it almost as if he's from where the camera is. Mm -hmm. He's throwing it towards the center of the room, almost like he's throwing it towards Rhett. Oh, and we got to volleyball this wait, bitch. You got to like it's volleyball. Like, it's like an order it's it's an order for Dan to just like yeah, just, yeah. So ready. to spike it. So it's going to be yeah. here? Well, it's like arguing through the air. I mean, if it lands right next to you, it's going to blow up on you. I'm going to tell you that much. Okay. So I, I, I can knock it to Dandy, who can knock it into... 
<laughs> yeah, sure. Or, or I sure. could knock it. Yeah. All right, but you know, yeah. just send it to me and I'll stuff it up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to say this, but I'm uh, over here. I wouldn't try to like physically touch it. I would try to run away from it, but I obviously I can't use movement on a reaction, so I'll yeah. I'll let you guys deal with it. I'm happy uh, to try and do it. I'd also yeah, say go any, for any go creative for justification as how you would like to attempt to move it. I will. Uh, I will allow as a, we'll say a free object interaction. Do you have like a storm whip or like something something I have pushy? Entangle, you know, I could try and use some vines creatively. I try and create a it. sand slide towards you. What is mm-hmm. the it's just a what you just roll a roll a uh What are you attempting to do? I'm I'm gonna attempt to take it and spike it on the um, With like magic? Yeah, with magic. Yeah, with, with, your, with your vines. Roll with vines. a uh, roll an attack roll. Plus your wisdom, so plus eight. Oh, wisdom. Plus, yeah. okay, got it. Um, plus eight, that's a 25. Nice! Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Uh, so, as this uh, barrel's arcing through the air, uh, you see it come out and you hear Augie's cry as the armadillo is now just about leapt up into the air and it's lifted off the ground. It looks as though it's about to, to roll ball back up and you whip out up into the air uh, a, a vine as it reaches out and wraps around the TNT and you launch it at the center of this armadillo as it flies forward into the face, strikes it and explodes as it's up in the air. And before it can roll and take its form, it and crashes back to the ground, stunned for let's say the next two moves. Is the core still um, vulnerable? Or the core was never vulnerable. Oh, no, the sorry, core, okay. you just saw it like a faint glow and heard uh, the okay, word, okay. but it was never exposed or vulnerable. Okay. Okay. Where is the core? It's on the top very top, top middle. Encased. Hey Rhett, what uh, what happens if we break that core? How how screwed are we? <laughs> uh, we better get the fuck out of here as quickly as we can if that thing starts to blow. And I will say that blast looked like it was extremely effective. Okay. It is Juggles' turn. <sighs> I'm working here. I'm working here. <laughs> Special regulation says I need to be careful. One, two, three, four, five, six. And as I am walking, a manhole will open up. <laughs> and I'm just gonna fall directly in, and then another manhole will open up as with a ladder going up as I use my bonus action uh to my benign transposition. Uh, to cool. go uh, further, I'll pop back up, and as I pop back up, I have that same acid gun that says, uh, "What does it sm- smell me? Smell me? <laughs> smell me?" <laughs> and I just, <laughs> um, and I am going to <coughs> use uh, my uh, acid caustic brew on this, and he automatically fails because it is stunned and is in dexterity. Oh, nice. So it just automatically applies a big old blast of um, acid, and I am going uh, to. Nice. I'm actually not going to bother empowering. This is fucking incredible. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, actually huge money. That's yeah. insane. Um, and so this is so he has acid on him for one uh, minute. Uh, so that is eight, uh, uh, fourteen, right? Seventeen. Oh, seventeen. Uh, eight. Well, eight plus so six is three, eight six plus is fourteen. Eight the whole thing's nineteen. Oh, nineteen. Nineteen points of acid damage, and I need to roll that acid. Bro. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Ham, what the fuck? I'm good. Yeah. Oh, you are pushing the That's limits. Insane. I am at the, I'm at the limit. The is wild the magic. magic. I'm losing my mind. Is the next one a coin flip? Your skin uh, is like rippling, so, like it's it's yeah. his, his wild magic. He has to beat a certain number. Right? Yeah, yeah. And so he. So I can't. I can't roll a one. And so basically, it's I can basically ride the line with my D four. So it never goes lower than a D four. Oh, so it never goes lower than a D four. Oh, actually, let me see. It started with I a thought D20, you get to a D two. Right? Oh, maybe I do. Oh, I do get to a D two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go D two. I mean, yeah. that makes it yeah. a little yeah. more exciting. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. the three rolls that I've seen you do for your wild magic over the last eight hours have all been max value. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, 
he's fine. Everything's yeah. gonna be okay. Yeah. What's the power of Shrugle Shrugles? Shrugle I'm losing as the the chaotic magics of my yeah. my motley and discordant like body is like start. I'm losing myself. You're to dissociating this a little. Yeah, I'm dissociating. Yeah, yeah. like I would even, even like, the memories of Shrugles are overtaking the memories of Chuckles. I can see, and it's hard to understand where one begins and the other ends. I would almost imagine even your disguised self is like. You kind of like lose it for a moment and then it comes back. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, like yeah. chuckles this way. Yeah. 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 I can see it so clearly. Yeah. So the enlarger deuce drops, so it'll it'll grow back oh. out. Oh, and uh, oh shit! And now there's just acid on top of it. There's just acid that's seeping oh. into its uh, thing. That's it. Must return. Oh, Bush, make a uh, strength saving throw. A save for crushing damage. You, which which yeah, make it all the way through the D two? Uh, Does it reset? Uh, no, I just I, I, I just, just keep, keep going until <laughs> until oh, it's D two until it's strength. Yeah. Then it'll go back up to uh, twelve or whatever it is. Okay, I get a plus eight to this. Let's hope it's not a natural one. Oh, it's a fourteen. I'll take a twenty-two. Uh, nice, nice. Uh, you <clears> will take. Uh, this is bludgeoning damage, so you might have this again. Yep, uh, I will. But you will take half of 14 points of bludgeoning Seven, damage. So as the enlargement that down of the armor yellow pushes you back against the wall, and you're able to kind of uh, And just at the last moment, as it, it kind of like crushes almost a portion of your shoulder against the wall, you can kind of shuffle it out and get right to the no, side. No, I'm like one of those stress balls that you squeeze where like the top, <laughs> the top of my head like fills like my entire <laughs> helmet on my yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, it's incredible. It is. Yes. Um, uh, cool. Very cool. Rhett. Um, well, first, I want to try to get Hank out of this gravity thing. Yep. So he needs to make a strength save. Strength save. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, that's a, maybe pretty good. I think he's got decent strength. Uh, Poor is Hank. Features? He's stepping the He's game. trying his best. He is trying his best. Uh, 16. Ooh, the save is 15. Oh, nice. Well, well done. <laughs> Come on, boy. Get out of there. In a black hole that can contain Hank. There we go. Uh, he'll just stand Hank by is my side. Than what he confirmed. <laughs> yep. Um, and then uh, he's not a good doggo. He's a good godo. <laughs> That's very funny. I will. Um. Through, I also use a bonus action to continue heat metal. Um, so I'm gonna roll yeah, give him hell. Yeah, because you haven't been interrupted. That's all. The, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. this guy up. I guess when he rolled through, maybe fifteen points of fire damage. Get fucked. Uh, <laughs> so good. Action. Ah, ah, you hear muffled screaming from inside. Yeah. It's starting to smoke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck! Oh, it's really heating things up in here. Oh, fuck! My Are whole my body feels like the inside of a hot pocket. <laughs> Are my attacks advantaged on um, stun. during stun? Yes. Attack rolls are advantage. It automatically oh, fails strength and dexterity saving throws. Okay, hold on. It can't take reactions. <laughs> uh, can't move. That will end right after you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have. Wasn't that his first turn? I thought you said two turns. Yeah, yeah, two, two, two turns. Yeah, yeah, red. Oh, it has two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it just I am at like a full turn. A full just round. These two. Mm. Next to yeah, moves. Yeah, yeah. Players, One, positions. Two, got it. I'm the point is, it didn't last for him. Uh, One, two, three, you go just four, fine. Five. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna walk up and um, I uh, seeing that Hank's out of there, he's okay. Um, I'm going to uh, sort of like uh, do like a like a like a cocking of my cannon, and it's going to whir faster and faster and faster. Now instead of a beam, you'll see two uh, super powered shots lob from the front of my cannon uh, and fly at it. So these are. <coughs> Power attacks. Nice. Um, oh, yeah. And so it's minus five Ooh. to hit, uh, but plus 10 damage if I do hit. But I'm advantaged, so we're going to see how this works. First one. Uh, that hits. Ooh. 13 misses. So only one will hit. Uh, and then we'll do two of these guys, seven, 13, uh, 19, uh, 29 points of force damage with the one shot. Wow. 
Okay. Good lord! Okay. How? Uh, Excuse me? I don't even need a turn. Jesus. <laughs> um, well, through the power of Aether, all things are possible, so write that down. That's one attack. <laughs> You're a threat, that's all I got, so. <laughs> uh, uh, Practice. Okay. You can see, uh, as this blast erupts from your cannon and lands into the face of the armadillo, uh, you see the, the face of it now uh, has been heated up. You can see portions of metal that had kind of created its, its sheathing have have like just super melt, super heated, and have melted away, and it's now this kind of like caged, hideous, like toothed, uh, mechanical face that it has, uh, and and one of the sections of eye covering has just melted away, and you just see this mechanical rotating red eye that's now starting <gasps> to kind of like uh, defunct and like zip around it's Terminator and, uh, as it's right. is trying to like look and lock on everyone as it stands up and shifts left to right uh, and you can see steam come out of either of his ears as it you know boom, 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 boom. Um, as it'll leap up into the air once again and it will bounce now instead of roll forward it will bounce uh, once that amongst ass. the two that are right between it like it's currently right between so, whoever that is. Revolution yeah. Pike. It'll then yep. leap and bounce between the next two up, <laughs> and then uh, leap and bounce to the next one in front of that. Here or here? In, in front, here? forward. As it leaves, and you can feel free to say "fuck you." As it leaves, I would like to hit, uh, make an attack of opportunity, and with my attack of opportunity, because we're level six, the uh, feat that I took was Sentinel. Its movement speed would be reduced to zero if I hit. Dang. Uh, but you can super say fuck you to that because yeah, I will. <laughs> unless you roll a roll your dice. Okay, which one? Which one should I roll? Whatever you want. You got a point. No, no, no you sure? Because when you point, it's it's better for me if you point. No, I can't shoot. Okay, no, shit. I'll, yeah. Someone pick for me. Swept. <laughs> this one. Thank you. Uh, that's a sixteen. That's an eighteen. Ooh, woohoo! Is it a twenty-six? Woohoo! Uh, you may do half damage. However, uh, will not stop its movement. Okay, that's extremely reasonable. I thank you for your business. I do six points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. I like attempt to clap onto it, and maybe I like give it a good little spank as it disappears. <laughs> it is. <Ooh>. Uh, <laughs> it to enrage mode so it is now oh, bouncing uh like crazy as it leaps up and down between targets and it draws that kind of hopscotch pattern as it moves towards the other uh, gravitational uh, fall uh, so, aim uh, for hank or kavir i think it lands in between us or uh, yeah it would try i mean I, if, it, if there's like a little like uh, Bowser, yeah, like it stars, it'll have both like of them. A, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, it'll have both. It'll be like King DDD stars that go out. Uh, uh, no, once you yeah, yeah, all yeah, 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 your deck yeah. saves, those of you who are uh, hit by So it. everyone except for Chuckles. Uh, so Tank didn't save. use an action, <laughs> oh. he takes the dodge action. I tried to have him come towards me. Dex, right? Yeah. Dex, correct, Mundo. I'm it, feeling good. The damage is 14. You'll take half if you passed. Uh, and the DC is 15. Ha! I knew it felt good. Half if you pass, you'll That's take half white full. damage. Half no, I mean what type? Oh, yeah. like oh, uh, it's what yeah, to call like some mix force. of like metal flame damage. So I'm not resisting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah this is this is full. I'll one. take I'll take mode. seven. I'll take seven. I'm imagining like it is exhaust vents and fire is yeah. like blasting oh, out, and yeah. when it lands, as it's blasting. As it started like I played Donkey Kong 64. As it started slamming feet <laughs> yeah. left and right, you can see steam and flames erupting from the side of its ears uh, as it's beginning to go completely cuckoo bananas. Um, Twelve, you say. In the, uh, I'm still in that circle. Is that still effective? This gravity thing. Yes, What's you would need to make a strength saving throw. Of fifteen. I'm gonna twist it. Twist it. Yes. Fifteen. Yeah. No. Yeah. Ah, yeah. You pass. Okay. That so means nothing. that you, you have the ability out. to move out of that okay. zone with unimpeded. Could you movement. move me towards you, like four spaces, so I'm out this of that direction? Yeah. There one, two, three, four. That's perfect. Fine. We'll do that, and then one to the that way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Five. Okay. Um, and I am still, I think, I am I still focused even though I was in that thing? 
If you didn't take damage or anything, you still focus. Oh, sorry, I'm concentration. Off, I, concentration. If sorry. you took damage, you'll need to roll. You that. have to roll to keep it. If you took yeah. damage, I did take damage. Okay. So then you roll. It does actually matter. Saving throw. Oh. It doesn't matter. No, no, no. It doesn't matter because I'm just gonna do heat metal again. And there's no. I just cast it again. Okay. Well, you can if you, you can keep heat metal and do uh, another spell if, if you, you want. didn't lose concentration, or use your your, your star form and you bla- send a bla- uh, blast towards it if you want oh, to. Oh, I so see. So if you keep concentration, yeah. yeah. So if you took oh. damage, you just gotta roll. Oh, high you did. Uh, oh yeah, you, you did take damage. You took so damage. roll you concentration take damage for sure. Uh oh, what is that? Eight. Eight. Yeah. That would that would break. I mean, yeah. can we do the thing? Twist it. We'll, we'll do one more twist. Yeah. Okay. Third, uh, yeah, that's sixteen. You made yeah, over yep. ten. You made ten. Yep. Hell so you can bonus yeah. action heat metal, and then you can do something else with your. All right. Thank there. you, Chad. I'm gonna do the same <laughs> thing to the face. Uh huh. If I can, from where I am. The heat metal. Right in the mouth. Heat metal. Oh. I would say that you would probably have to move forward as far as you can to get a look at his mouth. Because heat metal's already on it. <laughs> I would say that to you. spells so, are bullshit. Yeah, that's fine. You find, uh, you find a, but was it the best use of heat metal? The best use of heat metal is to use it and run. Uh, okay. So I'm going to do that. And the damage is seven for that. Ooh, for heat metal? For heat metal in the face. And then I will do the bonus action. Um, sorry for him. What's our twist count? You know? I think we have Archer. like four left. Okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yep. We're, we're ripping. ripping we're yeah. ripping. I have four. one. I have one dread. And then, just for fun, I'm going to um, cast very something very similar looking in my starry form, like the volcano that I just did for the heat metal. But in this case, it's starry form bonus action, and I'm just gonna do some more damage. Uh, seven more damage. Nice. That's it. Just seven more. Radiant damage, if that matters. Do we determine if it does? Hmm? Was radiant damage ever determined to be? Uh, nah, he never asked. Oh, okay. Hmm. Or he kept it a secret. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. He just flat out ignored it when you yeah, asked yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it. It's pause. It's hard to tell with me. <laughs> um, it is looking now very rough. Oh. An uh, Inky Mame with three twists. Oh! Thank you, Inky Mame. We are running. We are. We are low. We are I'm on empty. Thank you, right Inky Mame. We need them. That's oh. very funny. With, um, with Derek over here. What? I got my hashes now. Okay, that's Danny. It's Labouche. Oh, a lover's rose with another. Woo! That's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Seriously, yeah, yeah. let's just cool down. No. Oh, and I don't no. think no. I got Figgy oh. Dicks two hours ago. Oh, Figgy Dicks. Thank you so much. Screw the DM. Uh-oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Just see those twists back in. The tape came off. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. gosh. How how God, you... we have an engineer in the party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how how do we? How do you roll? Uh, rule jumping. Um, I don't know. It depends on the context, I guess. So, uh, <laughs> as part of my um, I can jump as far path of the beast feet. feature, I have jumping. When I jump, I can make a strength athletics check and extend my jump by a number of feet equal to the check's total. So if I roll to five, five feet, 20, 25 feet, whatever. Um, I can go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 without dashing. That's just my movement. I would love to be able to roll to jump farther, but some DMs, they include the jump inside the movement speed. So I should only be just like lifting off here and I can't exceed this line right here. Can I roll the jump here and roll <laughs> and, and go farther to see if I can get within reach? Yeah, or can, do I have to do the jump inside of my 40 feet range? Interesting. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, anything about rules. Like right? never comes I think I think rules is written if you go by the fucking DM. I don't know, geez. Just theoretically, well, then well, you would well. just be jumping everywhere. Then you would halo. But I would right. say like, as a path of the like of a barbarian's a special jumping feature. That's you can you can be like do a little rule of cool. I I would like I'd to I would like to roll for additional footage. It's all I'm yeah. asking. How cool are you? I've always liked the concept that Labouche has the like Stretch catapult thing. Yeah. The fucking, you, you know, like yeah. Zach, the Zach thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm asking. Roll, roll your, roll your thing. Let's let's, fi- let's find out if I, how far I get yeah. after having run here. Is there no generic jumping rule? There are. Yeah, there are, but they're bullshit. They're they don't have to come from momentum. Got a dread. 
Oh, All right. He's got a dread. Oh, hey! No. Let's go! This always happens. This always happens. This brutal. There's two more from Sloth. Sloth. Balance athletics check. Don't look at this. Fifteen. So I can go an additional fifteen feet if you allow me. Uh yeah, sure. We'll oh, barely it. make it. He's cool. Yeah. Five, ten, well, fifteen. Don't you have crazy fucking ah! reach? I have fifteen feet reach, so oh. I get there, I land, I need to do and that. I grab. No, no, I wouldn't have been able to you get from there. I just it, needed yeah. the additional five feet. Yeah. I. Uh, I'll reach under and I'll uh, tickle his feet. No, I'll break some ankles. Let's fucking go. Uh, I'm going to attack twice. I'm going to attack the first time recklessly. What's That's going to be a natural 20. Oh my god. The bruise is on fire, boys. Uh, six and Oh my gosh. Oh my god, we're flush. And oh, for my second part. attack. <laughs> More than we were. Your yeah. ticks give me so much anxiety. Uh, I'm still going to hit with a 17, but it's a three and a nine natural rolls. Uh, uh, so I'm going to do exactly. I dread that roll. Another oh, from yeah. Ripple Wild. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 The three You're and the six? At 20, but I will dread that and have you reroll both. Yep. So I'm re-rolling a, another advantage to attack? Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Using one drop. There's uh, seven and a two, oh. seven plus eight is uh, still 15 to hit. Which okay. misses. Which misses. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> what are you doing, Mace? What are you up to? Uh, that's going to be 13 kind of plus... He's doing something. Yeah. What is this? This is the damage, the damage. I'm doing. Uh, from um, the crit? Yeah, yeah. From, from the crit. Let's go. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, crib. it's plus five. So, uh, 18 total bludgeoning damage as I reach under and um, uh, basically uh, clap my two gauntlets together right against the feet. I'm endeavoring to like stop this creature from moving. It's, mm-hmm. it's got these huge armadillo legs, and I know it can ball up, but like, I want I want it to stop being able to roll, like mm-hmm. walk around. Uh, I would ask. How would you like to do this? Yeah, oh. but I, I felt the butt coming. It's fine. Yeah, I have, I have a thought. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but you've also got a butt. <laughs> no, I have a thought on what, what it would be very cool. But you can also flavor it. Oh, it's your moment. Oh no, no. Oh, you're thing. asking me how I want to do this? Yeah. Oh. But he's saying either he's way saying you get to do it. He's just got a way to do it, and he wants to hear how you want to do it. Um. Make you two cool. should discuss it and then decide. Here's my pitch. <laughs> I endeavor to not grab its leg, but to, listening to Dandy, grab its tail I from the know. front <laughs> and pull it like through. out from an underneath its feet so that it rolls onto its back onto the like actual reactor and starts to like fake fucking shut down. And everyone inside like collapses on their back immediately. Can, can I also add to that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I say you. You knock him down, you grab him, you spin him around, mm-hmm. and fucking what's his face? His name has a big pile of the barrels, and you. Uh. So long! <laughs> <laughs> so long, Armadillo! So long, <laughs> um, you, That's my bitch! <laughs> you leap forward and you crash <laughs> down <laughs> onto the ground, uh, like All Might versus Nomu. Your muscles expand <laughs> dramatically. <laughs> Boom! Boom! Uh, as I'll show you what these words really mean. You grab onto the tail of the armadillo uh, and you suplex it onto its back and then you begin to spin it around the room and around the room and it starts to carve this giant circle into the ground until the centrifugal force of your spinning begins to lift it ever so slightly wow. off and you get it to move so you start to move it so damn fast. i'm strong uh and then you see uh you hear oh throw it over this way um and as you'll hear augie shout out uh and you will <laughs> leap it out, uh, just really just toss it fucking at the pool cart of dynamite as it lands onto it. There's a massive explosion, boom, as a plume of explosive uh, no, smoke don't. goes up yeah. there, uh, and then <laughs> as soon as I see the explosion, I'm like, fires in all directions, uh, everything explodes, the whole building begins to shake and quake. Uh, as you see uh, that that took out a load-bearing wall and the structure this whole junkyard mountain now starts to tremble uh, and shake. I immediately look at Labouche and I say, Labouche, 
He doesn't have to be alive, but we need a body! Oh, yeah! <laughs> also, the power thing inside! That was bad. Oh, I got carried away! I oh, can't run! And I'm just oh, going to... Oh, shit. Uh, I'm going to turn, and, and Hank and I are going to just try to run out the door. Yeah, I'm right behind. Ooh. I've taken off. I'm Feel, not running. Feeling this mistake, knowing that the thing is going to collapse, knowing all of these things... <coughs> I actually would look for a body. I no, think I, I know. I, I so immediately, I, so that I, I like. immediately would jump in. I'm going to find that fucker. Yeah, I'm out of here. I, I fly over it. And I, I use the sand <laughs> for investigation. Boink, boink, boink. Uh, uh, twelve. Uh, uh, you start 17. to search the that wreckage. Seventeen. Mm -hmm. You all start to search oh, I'm, the wreckage. I'm going. You guys are dead. You, uh, <laughs> you, pull you start to pull the metal. You start to pull things apart. You 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 cut through the metal. Uh, you find body no, after no. body after body until you come yeah, across Fuck that. Mad Dog Dairy yeah. in the shrapnel. Grab him. Uh, no, in crazy. the wreckage, you find uh, <gasps> him uh, breathing, uh, but. Gravely wounded. I grab him by the waist. I pull him up onto my. I got him! I got him! What are you next? I jump out of the armadillo and I look for the exit. I see if I can run as quickly as possible and while making <laughs> yeah, sure running, that running. Kabir is safe. Yeah. I'm going to turn, uh, and I'm gonna be a fucking idiot. I'm gonna turn and charge up my grav cannon and it's gonna shoot a beam at Labouche and it's gonna cast uh, Levitate <gasps> on you. Knowing, knowing that you can sling yourself with your arms and uh, hopefully it'll fly. Move faster. Yeah. As soon as yeah. I feel this happen, I will grab the floor and I will pull myself rubber band style slingshot myself forward and out. Yeah. You do this right <laughs> as the 90-second nice. timer runs out. Let's get out, Cash Room! Oh Let's get out! The Every run! The Everything time limit shit is so good. Starts yeah. to just crash down around you. You think that if you Scary. had just been running, even if you had left, the moment you take to the air, the the junkyard starts to descend around you. And if it wasn't for Rhett firing out a tractor beam from the cannon to draw you further, as it connects with you, there's almost a brief anti-grav shielding for a moment as the, the junk bounces off you and then you're zipped and pulled <laughs> forward with the body of uh, Mad Dog Dairy. So, I mean, he's alive, but with, it is also his body. Yeah. It's his body. It's his body regardless. His yeah, junk yeah. bounces off of him. Yeah. You yeah. set him down, he doesn't have any legs. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, Yikes. He has severe, severe burn marks all over his body, um, which I feel like is fair. Uh, <clears throat> Don't let him bite you. Um, you are just these. you flying out. You, the, it, just as the explosion from Junkyard Mountain crashing down, uh, you, uh, your red is blasted back by the force. I'm gonna make you roll for it because I don't care. You're blasted back from, by the force. You're, you're immediately the cannon beam is is uh, severed in that moment. And Labouche, you just careen through the air as the momentum of him ripping you out of there uh, sends you flying. It's pretty natural for me to like monkey ball and I, I, I will attempt to keep uh, Mad Dog alive. As stupid as his name is, I will <laughs> endeavor <laughs> to keep him alive. Yeah. All right. well, Mad Dog Milk, let's go! <laughs> um, roll a dex Saving throw, you monster. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can I do it at advantage because I can see the thing and that's a, a barbarian feature or what? Uh, uh, I guess you can see. Nah, just roll a normal. Okay. Because you are like, you're flinging out of just a damaged. Seven. Uh, But it's a deck, so 10, flat 10. So my, as I'm flying Natural out, seven, I'm also ten, like, ten, sort of blasted. Three. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were right behind me, you're flying on uh, the cloud to get out. Even that, like the the force of this entire mountain basically crashing down oh behind gosh. you mm -hmm. as itself created a concussive blast that has flung all of you kind of out not at the very least knocked you down if you were if you had run to start like pike rex dandy chuckles the two of you uh, would have uh, no. uh we'll say deck saving throws and you so i'll allow you to have saved dairy um you will take an additional 12 points of damage. Oh, God. Um, and you uh, roll your deck save. 
Do oh, I have a dex save, you said? Uh, you will take an additional 12 You're points good. of damage. Uh, not impacted by any halves. You will take the full 12 points. Damn. All right. Uh, once we're like in the dirt, I guess, I would like immediately just like get up as quickly as I can, even though I'm kind of like staggered. I'd look to uh, Rhett and be like, uh, uh, <laughs> I know you're going to tell me that wasn't even the reactor shit. Uh, that, my next question was going to be, do <laughs> I get the sense that it has exploded or that that was just the mountain coming down? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm like, I'm like trying to help you up as I say this to you. That wasn't the reactor blowing up, and I'm gonna. Uh, how rough does Cashew look? Uh, I have six L. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to him and say, Cashew, get yourself up. I'll help you up, and I'm gonna cast a healing touch on you. I'll hand you a like. Oh, it's your favorite fried uh, space shrimp, bow boy. Here you, you go. go. <laughs> Here you go. And uh, you'll you'll, you'll enjoy. Uh, nine points of healing. Oh, nice. Do you Sorry. look rough, Labouche? I look fine. You look fine. As I also, uh, I'm rough. Hank is sparking a little bit. <gasps> okay. You're rough. Um, okay. We need to get the fuck out of here right now. I want to look around and see if there are any of their vehicles. Uh, you're the you're good. Yeah. Park, parked anywhere. Are you still good? Are. That's roll, amazing. Roll uh, an investigation check, or uh, yeah, just an investigation. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, Twelve plus a billion. Eight, right? Is uh, <laughs> twenty. With a twenty, you absolutely see a large-sized, uh, like warthog-style ATV with the shroud oh, yeah. metal. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> stapled <laughs> around all the edges, the front with kind of like two iron tusks coming off Badass. and up to be able to spear anything that's ahead of it. Get in now! And yep. I'm gonna run up. I'm gonna just jump in the driver's seat. Uh, Hank's gonna jump in my lap, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna just sort of get a sense of how you know if I can quickly just try to analyze how I fucking you know drive this thing. But using sort of my inherent engineering knowledge and experience, you know, driving tanks. Displays and stuff like are that. blinking. <laughs> there's reticles and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As quickly as I can, I'm just like flipping knobs and you know trying to get the engine on. Yeah. And uh, until he starts it rolling, I'm gonna use the sands to kind of give us a little push, like kind of like a wave of a small wave of sand behind us, just to get it rolling forward at least. Uh, you do that to kind of start its momentum, uh, and you kind of are able to create a little bit of an inclined hill. And it'll begin very slightly to roll, but this is a heavy vehicle. This is a big, uh, not quite like tank size, but this is a big vehicle, and you just step uh, stuff seven people into it. Yeah. Uh, there, oh, there isn't really eight. a seat for me, so I'd like to like go. go on to Some the like bodies. roof of the of the of the warthog. Like mm -hmm. every, if if everyone's inside or You're the it, like top. in the in the, <laughs> the bed of the truck uh, uh, of sorts, I'm literally just like holding on and like riding it almost from mm -hmm. from the top with one arm. I'm just like monkeying. Mm -hmm. uh, man, uh, you got it. Yeah. You, you wrap around it, and it's at this point. Uh, that uh, quiet does not fall over the land, but silence. Uh, as from the Scrapyard Mountain, uh, there's an explosion of a purple chaotic orb. And for a moment, it rips all noise from reality as you can't hear anything. Uh, as it, exactly, it's just And then you turn the car and it turns over. And you punch the engine, and it just it it it, it doesn't oh, start. It doesn't start as it goes to punch over. It just you keep trying to get the engine to turn over, and it's not quite there. As you keep going, and roll a uh, engineering check at disadvantage. Uh, if I uh, if I could, the I don't orb, know if this will help as me. it's erupted has begun to slowly expand, and you can see all the junk from the area around it is now beginning to get ripped into the air and sucked into its vortex. The second I w it wouldn't turn the first time, I'll say, Hank! And then Hank will just instinctively know. He'll jump down on the floor and like wear, like get under things and try to like start, you know, bzz, 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 trying to help me fix it. R2-D2 action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's go. Oh, As so I'm trying okay. to like, you know, do other things up here. Normal. I'm gonna yeah, cast on, uh, you. guidance on you. Oh. Oh. Hey, Red. Here's a bottle of ranch. Oh, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
down it just like we used to in the old days. I'm like doing one hand. <laughs> <laughs> and the D8. It's surprising. Yeah. It helps. Three. 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 Yeah. Nature's valor. Oh, yeah, we're killing it. What do you get? A 19 plus a billion? Uh, 16, 78, 19, 20. Uh, 21, yeah. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, uh, 31. This is like a ring of chaos yeah. where we just, we just buff one person. Yeah, 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 yeah. super hyper buff. Yeah, there you go. Um, you're turning the, the key in the engine and it just keeps not turning over. It punches, it punches, it punches. Hank is on the crown, desperate. You can hear him uh, rumbling and shifting. Uh, you feel the back of the car lift up a little oh, bit. Oh, God. And you, you feel like... Uh, it's the sands from Kabir uh, as the, the shifting up to give you that downward spiral when in actuality the back of your car started to lift and get sucked towards the gravitational pull. Uh, it's right at that moment that you hear the from Hank as he uh, repairs the engine connector. You hit the key, the engine whirs to life. You slam the pedal to the ground and you rock it off in front of you. Uh, and you are just pooling uh, as you go. Uh, and you are just uh, racing as you run down. You, you slam the pedal, you're running down the, uh, the, the um, pathways. Um, one and of the you, buttons that I hit accidentally starts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's exactly. I've had that stick my head. Who put this on? It's on random. <laughs> oh, Steve Vai. Oh, me too. It's me. <laughs> Steve Vai is the best. Thank one of two versions. One of the last living virtuosos. Thank you. You can. Let's go. Uh, you Let's go. are just, um, I'd play that right now if it wouldn't get us stricken, but yeah, that would be absolutely <laughs> perfect. Uh, you are just blasting down this junk driveway uh, as you are racing. Right behind you, this chaotic orb is chasing hungrily. You see the junk get ripped out from every section of the wall around you as it just flies off into the air, consumed behind you. One turn, two turns. Uh, you, you're now past where you met uh, Augie, uh, and you're you're punching back into uh, the kind of back towards where the rhapsody is touched down. Um, still, the junk getting ripped away from behind you. You keep going. You keep going, uh, and and then finally you break out of of your uh, junk maze as you pull right in front of the rhapsody. You the gangplank is lowered. Hank calls in the remote uh, drop order. Uh, it pulls down in front of you. You skyrocket up the ramp. The the uh, the warthog of uh, the tusks flies up the ramp, leaps into the air, and comes to a crashing halt as it stops <coughs> right <coughs> right at the end of the room uh, as you pull to a to a break. Um, <coughs> uh, you're just able. As you look out the the doors, the gangway has has stopped. That the expanse of the expanding gravitational explosion, uh, as it's begun to eaten away at everything, has crept slowly up to your doorstep mm. and stopped. <gasps> oh. oh, not my doorstep. <laughs> oh, so I think we can try and get out of here now. Fucking empire dogs! They don't know what the fuck they're messing with! I'm going to, uh... Are we... Does it feel like things are settling? Uh, you may move to the edge of the, uh, the gangway and check. I will do that. You do so. You hop out of the warthog, dust yourself off. <laughs> You take the rocket launcher that you found in the final level off your back on camera. <laughs> yeah. um, I got you, the sniper. You move towards the, yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. You move towards the, the end of the gangway and you look out to see uh, just basic devastation in front of you. I mean, this space was covered uh, in junk as far as the eye can see. And not, not even like dirty, just a, an arid area. But this has created a chaotic... Uh, a simulation of what would look like a, a sphere. It looks like a broken bunt cake in the shape that it's created in the in the edges of the burn marks you can see in a perfectly carved out sphere. 
the devastation as it wraps out in a radius close to you does that uh, just as deep into the earth. Is the actual sphere now gone? Uh, it has receded. Okay, it's going back. And it okay. has now gone. Um, and you actually see in the distance it floating where you imagine it was Junk Mountain. Oh my God. We forgot Augie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, who? I was going to say something, but we were all focused on the bounty. Can't true. <laughs> so many mad dogs, dude. We lost a lot of good men out there. A lot, a lot of good mad dogs. <laughs> out there, and even worst of all, Augie. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab Mad Dog there in the body. <coughs> I'm assuming he, he's barely conscious or unconscious at this point. Oh, and, hell no. No. He was like up in the rafters oh, throwing bugs. He's like, I got all this tea and tea. <laughs> yeah, there's no way we're getting him. <laughs> he got smoked. Yeah. No. He died for the cause. We he barely made it out. Cause. He was oh. well inside the shit. Augie died, but legends never do. Yeah. <laughs> It'll go on. Exactly. Uh, Oh, I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna, gonna grab, I'm gonna goodness. grab Mad Dog Dairy by the fucking collar, and I'm gonna pull him over to one of the nearby crates just at the entrance, and I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap metal or something like that. And I'm just gonna like, you strap him up against one of these just like, uh, like rebar pillars in the Rhapsody, uh, and you put him against it, uh, his head against the the section. You take a bit of just released uh, iron and you wrap it right around his neck as you tie him to the post. Oh, I'll leave him there. Doesn't. Are we all alright? Is everyone okay? Uh, uh, we're alive. <clears throat> so you stand on the edge of the exactly track, breathing very hard. I mean, like Even though you just took this ride uh, in a vehicle, this has been an incredibly tense uh, last final moments for you. Uh, as you are racing from utter devastation. And you look out as you stand at the edge and you see this massive cratered sphere in the ground of uh, this this junkyard where the junkyard dogs uh, had previously made uh, their encampment. Uh, and at what would be ground level, but now uh, levitates about, we'll say, I'm about 200 feet in the air, uh, is the recollected uh, graviton sphere. Does it look more refined now, or is it still very chaotic and, and not like? Um, well, perception check. Uh, do, 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 do. 14? You are pretty far away to understand very like intimately how it uh, how it looks uh, to a certain degree. Do uh, does it make me think of anything in terms of like what would I know about the risks or like what it is or um, the nature of what I'm looking at 200 feet above the ground? Mm -hmm. You would you would feel pretty innately as though this was a this was a, a crude representation of ether dwarf uh, attempted ether dwarf technology, uh, and it seems to operate in a, in a similar similar gravitational way. Uh, you would feel relatively immediately that your core dramatically outscales this in power. And to, to put it in uh, mathematical terms, if your core was to erupt, everything would be fucked. <laughs> mathematically. That's mathematically, true. That's true. yeah. Scientific. Um, and that's just science. And <laughs> just, science. just science. So you roll another engineering check. Uh, 14, 19, uh, 25. Nice. Jeez. Wow. You get the sense, you take a quick glance around the Bay of the Rhapsody. Some of the scrap metal even that you picked up 
uh, from the junkyard. You get the sense if you were to take something along the way of 10 minutes, you feel like you could build a container box that would house that orb. Uh, we need to contain it. You uh. have to be kidding me. Look, you're more mad than mad dog. <laughs> Medic! <laughs> Medic! <laughs> I, I am uh, uh, waving people over. Uh, uh, Mad Doggy, he is not, he's not long for this world. You're lucky you're no good to me, dead. <laughs> I'll walk up to him and I'm going, I'll pull, reach into my hat and I'll pull out an orange and I'll peel it like a soccer mom after soccer practice. <laughs> I'm going to give him orange slices and cast Aww. cure wounds as I'm going to heal him and attempt to stabilize him for nine points of healing. <laughs> Here we go. It's gonna be fine. Not, oh god. <laughs> what is no. this? This is an oranges. I only have one D two. Oh, it's a two. Oh well, now it doesn't count. You gotta flip it. Oh, gotta oh. Flip it. oh god. Oh, god. I keep dropping it. I'm so nervous. This is the universe. I'm so nervous. So. Oh. Ah, where did it go? It's a one. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see what happens. What do you roll? A D one hundred. Let me know if you roll a one. On the D100? Yep. Is it D100? Yeah, you roll. Oh, it's the 1 through 10. You roll these and uh, basically you need be like to roll oh, 8 oh, or it'd be what? like well, a you need to roll 64. One of them. No one, you okay. have a two digit cool. and a one digit. Uh, oh, you have to roll both then. Yeah, I gotta roll both. Right. Damn it. That would have been interesting. Do you want mine? No, I got it. I'm gonna just these two. That's a 30. Oh. It can't be that bad. It's good. <laughs> Solid number. Are there a hundred different? Mm -hmm. Depends well, on the, uh, 50. Well, Depends well, on the table you use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like well, I mean, for his table, it's like officially one. And the table is the same. Yeah. Three and four, the same. Uh, okay. Five and six. I'm and sure somebody's created a, a table with a hundred yeah, things, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I'm not aware of a D10 thousand table. Jesus. Um, I just tell I teleport up to sixty feet into an unoccupied space of my choice that I can see. No, that's not so bad. So where should I where should I teleport to, Dungeon Master? Which I'm going to basically emerge as just chuckles now after the fucking mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. the wild magic explodes. I would say as you you start to feed the orange peels into uh, the mouth of uh, <laughs> Mad Dog, he, just uh, he <laughs> starts to eat it, and then as you do this, you start to shake and tremble, and your body <laughs> balloons <laughs> open, um, and then you pop as you teleport sixty feet out the back of the rhapsody and, and plummet into the sphere. I can get blown back and plummet into the sphere. Into the crater. Into the crater. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. so many, so many junkyard dogs dead. And for what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh! <laughs> I won't have the reaction sense to cast uh, what you call it, so I'll fall however deep it is in the crater. Well, I would say it's 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 a slope. Where the oh, 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 so oh, 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 It's like when Homer says he falls down the front of the Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Is anyone seeing this? Uh, no, he's not so uh, 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 He's got less than Unless he went out way out the bay and like no, the drama. The drama. This is a deep you're only 15 for like, oh, 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 I made it all the way. Oh, 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 it's just oh. the scene from uh, Kung Pao under the fist. Uh, <laughs> with the baby. Oh. I roll all the way down to the bottom of the crater. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you do so. And then you can walk back up in, I don't know, 10 seconds. No. I'm gonna turn to Rhett after he's in this moment. He's also just finished his sentence saying that we need to contain it. Yeah. Uh, do you think that's something? Hang on. <laughs> and I'm gonna pull the mask off my face, but it's gonna be like that scene in the mask where it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it comes off and then just like bursts into flames and it's gone. And I'm like, oh. A bunch of confetti. Hey, uh, <laughs> just like, hold on. Uh, okay. Do you think you can build something to contain it? And do we want it on this ship? I mean, if we leave it here, uh, ether dwarves don't live on planets, but. You know, in the history of our technology, folks experimenting on this sort of thing, entire space stations have been uh, torn apart and basically consumed 
by something sort of like that. So it's a risk. I mean, it's not, it doesn't look that powerful, but if left alone, even if it's as stable as fuck, leaving it there means the Empire can roll up and take it. But then where do we take it? We keep it with us. For now. And find something to do with it. Can we destroy it or refine it? Stabilize it? <gasps> if you risk, I mean, if you try to destroy it, you risk creating something way bigger, way worse, and could fucking suck the whole planet into it, or at least half of it. Just give me, give me ten minutes. Could we use it to make our ship go fast in the big ship festival? <laughs> the, the Grand Prix? It's one million credits. That's, my, that's a lot of lasagna pizza <laughs> with the cuppy pepperonis. My oh, ops. did someone say lasagna pizza? <laughs> 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 I'm like looking around for chuckles. That like, sounds old! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you know what I mean. Uh, that's exactly I'm just what saying. You <laughs> just <laughs> made it out of the, the crater when you had gotten <laughs> there. You got to the top. Oh, lasagna pizza! Oh. <laughs> As you guys came backwards once again. You know, fall uh, away this uh, You say that, and for like a, just a split second, my eyes light up, which served like a spark of inspiration. Uh, or my, my, my one uh, normal eye lights up. Uh, but then going back to sort of, you know, grim determination, and I'll say, uh, I think no matter what we do, for now, let's contain it, get it on the ship, and take it with us. I'll be right back. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, walk down to my workshop slash bedroom. Uh, I'll hit the door to open the door, and then I'll walk through, and then I'll hit the door, and I'll slam shut. Um, and in my room, there is a large uh, cassette futurism style like jukebox, like space jukebox. Mm. Um, and I hit it, and just some random song turns is on. Is it pulling like a laser disc out? Where like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. have you seen the yeah. jukebox in Arcane? Yeah, that's what I'm fucking. Yeah, thank yeah, you, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's yeah. basically that, but yeah. more just more cassette futurism style. Um, and I'll sit down at my workbench and I'll collect just some sort of various pieces of, of metal and, you know, scrap that I've kept because I knew that it was strong. And, like, I wouldn't want to use any of the scrap that's sort of on the junk planet. I, w I would want to know that it's good. Handpicked by you. And yeah. as quickly as I can, but still as safely and as effectively as I can, I want to engineer um, something some sort of containment box, like you mm -hmm. said, uh, that can hold it knowing that, you know, uh, it's obviously not as strong as what's in my canon, mm -hmm. but um, you know, as quickly as I can. You sit down at your uh, workbench, and as you get to work, your hands are moving like cranking bolts. Uh, and as you do so, your mechanical arms extend out yeah. and hold up sections Welding. of the box together. Yeah. Exactly. As a, as a beam comes down and cauterizes section of metal together, as you connect it, you begin to inlay some of the tubing for conduits. Uh, heat retention, shock absorption, Hank just to the side doing the same thing. Uh, whoop, 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 move, moving around the box as a little laser will pop out of his mouth and he'll cauterize uh, sections of it as well. And it would take you probably about, uh, we'll say 10 to 15 minutes of, of your expertise with the materials you had on hand to be able to use all these things to, to uh, not quite slap it together, but compile it with, with a great bit of uh, technical ability so that you know it's reached a point where you feel very comfortable with it. Is this, right now everything's pretty much like, we're just waiting for red and everything's relatively calm, right? At this I'm point. just keeping my eyes on the Mad Dog. state of Mad Dog. Yeah. He mm -hmm. seems fine. I'm gonna sit down on the couch. This, this whole endeavor with the mask has just been like extremely exhausting, both mentally and physically. And I'm gonna sit on the couch, kind of like waiting for red, but you can see me just sort of like, Dozing off, <laughs> like trying to stay awake. But I'm so like physically drained that I just like I can't, and I just succumb and end up like passing out. Like, <coughs> when you fall asleep like this, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Rhett left too quickly, and I could tell that he was also very deep in thought. Uh, but I am uh, smoking a cigarette with with the still looking out the back of the Rhapsody, just mm. watching everything that's happening, like taking it in, and thinking very hard about what Dandy said about 
you potentially using this as some sort of a, of an external source to power a ship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dandy's kind of smart. I'm hearing your thoughts. We can smile. <laughs> we can smile. Dandy's kind of smart. We, we have this word. <laughs> this is Warthog ours now. It's on the ship. It's canon. It's the Warthog is in our possession. <laughs> it is. For now. Unless he had to dismantle yeah. it to uh, yeah. build the, uh, yeah. no, the no, containment have, box. Uh, you have the tusk, the tusk hog. All right. Yeah. All right. I, uh, at this point, I would have climbed out of the crater yeah. for the second time and not fallen back Surely in. This time, yeah. And uh, I guess if, if Rhett and Pike had gone back in, I'm just going to keep an eye on the, I'll, I'll kind of lean up against the ship right where Pike is. Uh-huh. I see him smoking a cigarette. I'll reach into my uh, coat and I'll pull out a pipe and I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll tap on it and bubbles will come yeah. up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wow, that was one sure that was one hell of a mission, huh? <laughs> I just uh I nod. And after ten minutes have passed, you guys aren't doing anything else. Yeah, I'm just in thought. I'm 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 thinking about the horrific loss of life that has happened here and like, you know, I'm worried about this thing. I'm just deep in thought and I'm waiting for you. I'm letting you do your thing and thinking about what Dandy said and just kinda of taking it all in. Um, Hank would have been like just at my feet the whole time, just following me, and just mm-hmm. like sitting there and then following me back out. Uh, and I'll come back uh, to the with, the with with the rest of the gang, and I said, uh, I'll say, I think this will just about do it. And it's, um, I mean, let me know if this is big enough, right? But I'm thinking that it's sort of like uh, the Z drive, like Echo Z drive, sort of size wise, mm-hmm. kind of cylindrical, and with like. Glass panes, so you'll be able to see in, mm. but with like with like sheets of metal, kind of keep it all contained, um, mm. almost like a large canister. Uh, and uh, this is as best as I can do on short notice, but we have to fucking try. Do you need any help? If it's not big enough, I could probably also make it bigger temporarily. If you putting it in and then it's shrinking back down won't like destroy the universe. I could try and contain it if you give me instructions. Do I get the sense that this would be like, that I could give it to someone to use? Oh, I'm assuming it's like a container where you like catch a butterfly, you know, like a little net. <laughs> or like, yeah. like a Ghostbusters, like, the trap. Like yeah, 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 yeah. So you would understand that now this orb hovers 300 feet. In the yeah. Right. And so no matter how you go to get it, you will have to fly to it in right. some capacity. Of course. Uh, even if you take your ship, like you would have to, not just the Rhapsody, but the, like if you were to pilot your ship out, even just to go there, you would almost certainly have to pilot that and either somebody else put it in a holding pad. There are a number of ways you can approach this, but I think you would probably look around at your party and have faith in maybe two or three of them. <laughs> Let me go. I will. We may need to fly out there, it's but three hundred feet in the sky. Yes, but if it explodes, you could all be uh, far away. I could take the canister in my suit. My not my my suit, but my suit. If you need hover power, I can risk the clown car. If if I die taking it. Is perhaps not a as big a loss. I have this thing in me. What are you talking about, Labouche? You dying terribly would be the same loss as all of us dying terribly. And what if you die and unleashes whatever it is inside you? <laughs> it's very pragmatic, Fred, but not quite. But he would also be very sad and upset. If you die terribly, regardless of whatever was unleashed from your untimely demise. I'm just saying, don't feel sorry for yourself and wish death upon yourself because of your current fucking state. I would like to stay alive. I would like to be me. What do you think, Pike? Should we just take the Rhapsody up there? Yeah, just, uh... yeah, that was going to be my suggestion. Let's get the Rhapsody in distance and then see if maybe perhaps Labouche is the most... Uh... Suited for this, considering the uh, outfit that he's got for uh, space flight. He is literally suited. 
<laughs> I'm well suited for the job. Exactly right, Dandy. I'm getting smarter. All right. You hold on to this. I'm gonna go. It's like a big box. It's like an awkward <laughs> big box. Uh, all right, I got it. Uh, I'm gonna. It's not heavy. It's just awkward. Go take us up there. <laughs> I just can't get a grip on it. Yeah. <laughs> when the time comes, maybe you get in your in your big suit and take it out there. Just in case. I wipe away the, the, the face that I've had this entire time, the surprise eyebrows, the, the frowny uh, uh, mouth, and uh, you can just see me and my eyeballs and my gooey mustache of sorts. And uh, I sort of, not a salute, I, but like I stand at attention. I'm ready to go. All right. <sighs> I'll uh, talk to you over the intercom. Yeah, I'll go with Labouche to the to the hangar. Come on, let's go. Let's get ready. Uh, I'll run up there with with Hank and get in the cockpit. And uh, you know, once we're ready to go, I'll do all the preparations as quickly as I can and start to take us over there without getting too close. Mm -hmm. But basically, pull the Rhapsody up to it within you know at least a hundred yards and kind of turn it so that the uh, hangar door, which I guess faces probably the back of the ship if it's Great Fox style, um, and so that it's basically facing towards the warp. Mm. You uh, roll a roll a pilot's check. That's kind of where I'm liking, because that's technically a tool on a technical <gasps> That wasn't quick enough. That was, that was the wrong die anyway. <laughs> Big money. Uh, 17, 20, uh, 25, 28. Big money! Holy. You were trying to land a 747 on a B, uh, and it is angry. Uh, <laughs> but you are the pilot for the job. Uh, you fly the Rhapsody around it, uh, and you kind of hit this mild, like, J hook, almost like a fishing hook. And as you spin around, you swing the back of the Rhapsody just a bit as you bring the nose and you're now in perfect alignment with the end of it. Uh, with a 28, you were roughly 10 feet uh, from oh. the orb. Oh, damn, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> you're roughly 10 feet from the uh from it's like right my backup camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I ain't use no uh, camera. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't even see out the back of the door of the cockpit. Yeah. But you just feel it. You yeah, know, like you camera. are the leaf. Um, and you spin the ship around as the back comes perfectly in line with this warbling, chaotic, gravitational uh, ball of energy. After you're in the suit, I would set the, the, the containment box down on the ground and you're, you're getting ready or whatever, and I would be uh, kind of just overseeing and helping you with whatever you need to get ready. Um, before we are in position and waiting for Rhett's voice over the intercom, I would, I would look at you and say, Labouche, listen to me. If anything goes wrong out there, don't be a hero, all right? Just get out of there. I'm not sure what you mean. Don't be a hero? I mean, if things start to go south, don't stick around and find out what's gonna happen. Get back to the Rhapsody. It's better that you survive and the Empire get their hand on whatever, or this whole planet gets destroyed, as far as I'm concerned. We'll find another solution. And just remember to smile and I'll walk up the front of this and do a little smile on, on the dome of his thing and I'll give you a bark inspiration. Nice. The dome of the uh, the suit and I'll walk back down. Take the box and just listen to what Rhett's gonna tell you, all right? He knows what he's doing. And I'm gonna take a, like many steps back and give you space to do what you need to do in the hangar and get, and get to a safe distance along the wall, the hangar wall. I uh, wanna know, un, like, un, 
understand as much as I can about how this box is going to work. Like, is there like a container top to it? And I'm going to attempt to like seal it in this way. I like, I assume I've talked to Red about this or at least examine the artifact and understand the orb well enough to understand what I need to do when I approach. You will hear, oh, okay, go ahead. Mm-hmm. You will hear in, uh, in your suit. All right, that's as close as I can get. You have the uh, canister. All right, I got you up on my monitor. You just follow my instructions, and uh, good luck. My giant, like, robot torso will look up to the camera. (laughs) (laughs) All right, you can approach the sphere. I'll walk down the gangway, the, the, down the plank, the exit plank, and mm-hmm. I will, I'm assuming wind is blowing and I'm close to this oh, yeah. impossible uh, sphere, uh, which arcs with energy and chaos. Yeah. And it is a windy <laughs> planet, and now there's a hole in it. Uh, and so there is a whistle, uh, the like of which you've never quite heard before. Uh, as the winds gallop across the, the planetary surface, and they create this kind of like odd ethereal song as it reaches up around you as you begin to reach out to the to the orb and what Rhett will also explain to you uh is that the way you will function this is at the bottom there is a a grab handle and if you twist it uh clockwise it will momentarily create uh like the opposite of magnetism and so in in that like magnets would uh not attract each other and push them away this will create a moment where for for a brief second it will pull it into the box um it will kick like a mule on sunday you'd say something probably around those lines. space <laughs> like a dog of a bone tree <laughs> yeah there what? You go. yeah uh, <laughs> So space the, Sunday, yeah, the equivalent of space Sunday. Yeah, that's right. Um, it so be ready for it to to fucking punch. Uh, the second you feel that, fight back as hard as you can. Twist it in the reverse and slam the lid shut because that will create once again the magnetism oh, that will begin to push it out, and so you have to quickly snap the top shut in one deft motion. I'll take the final few steps so that I'm just at the precipice, knowing that there's hundreds of feet of air and wind underneath me, hearing these insane sounds blowing all around me, even through the thick carapace of my shielded suit. And I will look at the orb and I will see that it can fit. Taking one hand, I will grip the bottom and turn it clockwise. And the second you move it clockwise, the orb will, like a vacuum, (laughs) get sucked into the canister. And it will punch back at you like a dog (laughs) in a bone tree or whatever the... the Up a bone tree. Up a bone tree. Uh, And you will have to immediately snap back to the right and close it in one fell motion. So I would ask you to roll... Oh God! We set uh, the bush. Roll a, <laughs> uh, we'll say sleight of hand for the first, uh-huh. just for the turn. A strength saving throw for the orb crashing into you, and then an athletics check for your ability to flip the uh, handle back all to good the picks. side. All good picks. And all snap good. the lid closed. Uh, Very good. Good choices. Snap the lid closed. I've forgotten which one was the good one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Chloe Pick, Chloe it Pick. was a okay. sleight of hand. Just, just hand me one. And remember, you have uh, Bardic Inspiration. Oh, I do. One so use, right? A D8? One That's D8, nice. yep. All right. You I have will, one use I'll of that. Don't use this one. Sleight of hand's probably Sleight of hand first. Sleight of hand. <laughs> I would argue it's also the twist, least. Twist, twist, I would argue it's the twist. least important. Yeah, with a ten, with a ten, I'm gonna gonna hold on to my my my. uh, I do an average (laughs) job. As soon as the wind gets in there, I I don't expect the wind even before the even or the orb even Mm. gets in there. I'm no, you don't. (laughs) 
you're also it is windy this high up you're <laughs> up in the air you're fighting you don't you're losing purchase a little bit on the ground you're starting to shake the aim of the canister just a little bit as you endeavor to uh suck it in but uh this is not the difficult task this is just turning the handle to the right and so with a 10 <laughs> you're able to accomplish that piece okay uh, you then have nice. the strength, strength saving save. this, this is one. where it gets this very one. important yeah. no i'm not i'm uh -oh. right or die labouche yep. you want to hand me that one or do you want me to roll that one no you you keep, keep let it ride let that it ride. that's yeah. the one that's let the it ride roll Nah, no, I'm not rolling any other die except the Labouche die with a 14. Woo! Okay, okay. Eight. My fucking yeah, huge. Oh, yeah, strength saving back. throw. Yeah. Huge. <laughs> 22. Eight. 22. Yeah. Now immediately roll your athletics. He's strong. Because these are in combination. <gasps> it's okay, you have the body. That's for, that's for 16 <laughs> plus. Four, dirty twenty. Dirty 20. Yeah, dirty twenty. That's great. You go. You're on the. You're out on the on the gangway, and even in the dreadnought, even in your massive suit of armor, uh, you shake under the weight of the wind. You snap the handle to the right. The orb immediately sucks in. You are blasted back into the heart of the bay. Uh, you crash into the back, even knocking around some uh, shrapnel of wooden boxes. Crack. And explode oh, as sparrow. bits of as bits of uh, <laughs> that's very funny. Uh, <laughs> as bits of wooden box fly out in all directions, uh, and you lose sight of Labouche for just a moment. Uh, and then, as the dust settles, you'll see uh, just briefly uh, he stands there, handle turned back to center, lid closed. Or I'll, I'll grab secured. around the lid and just give it like an extra. <laughs> <laughs> Just to really tighten yeah. it. Uh, and you hear it latch down. Uh, and it is secured shut. I it think I've done it! Mm. Good job, LaBouche! Hey, you remember nice, to smile! Nice job! <laughs> we, knew, we knew you could do it. Him hitting the wall is going to cause me to wake up. <laughs> what, what happened? What did we do? I'll set it down in the middle of the, the cargo area uh, by at the end of the ship and... Um, not dust myself off, but just sort of like look at the fact. Like, what what does it look like? Is it is it totally contained, or is it like mm. glowing and warping mm. with energy? Like, uh, when you did all that, when you sucked it in, uh, even in that moment, it'd be hard for anybody else to catch. But in that moment, when the orb was pulled into this container, uh, it started to like kind of start to like warble out and bubble oh. a little bit. In the split second where you snapped it shut it starts to kind of fight back against it. But you see the container that Rhett has built um, immovable. Uh, it rages against its uh, ether prison and it does not even uh, shrug as the energy within starts to bounce and fight and rage uh, and it, it's prison lab. I think I have it inside, Rhett, you made. Quite the container. Yeah, I'll be coming into the hangar at that point. I'll say you will. You will find me like squatting on my heels, like like looking at it very closely mm. and kind of smiling at it. Mm. And I look up at you as you walk in, and I just kind of like give you a thumbs up. Good fucking job. I'll drain from my armor and land into my suit, leaving my suit dormant. I think we did it. And as you as you kind of snap it and everyone's looking at it, you'll see as it begins to rage against the outer containment walls, it will eventually settle uh, and form. Not quite into a perfect sphere, still that kind of warbling, mildly chaotic, but it's calmed within its containment unit. It is quite like I'm a like, gas. Yeah. <coughs> oh, I wonder if this is why Kelevax wanted him. Or if this is a total fucking coincidence. I got a bone to pick with that motherfucker. Well, before we go mentioning any kind of rudimentary ether engines to Kilovax, <laughs> maybe we just see what he said first. I'm gonna walk in and see the container and be like, oh hey, you guys got the uh <laughs> core. <laughs> Red and Labouche saved the world! Mm. Wow. Wait. Nice job. You sent Labouche out? Yeah, he did the hard work. Why didn't you come wake me up? Well, I figured you, we had it handled. 
You needed the raft. Usually, I usually no one gets to share the madness of the motley, and that was a whole hour, Kavir. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, somewhat like myself, but you sent my friend out there. Aww. You look at me, and you, I'm sure, feel concern or the fear of what risk may have yeah. been incurred. But you can read my expressions better than anyone, anyone in this cosmos, and oh. this. I, I have the thrill of fight, the fight, and and the thrill of the I'm adrenaline of, the, of of what we do when we fight folks like that armadillo. And I have had the like uh, the the cloud over my head. And for the first time, I look victory. I look I look like I've got yeah. the, the the moment of like I did something that's really meaningful. Is what's uh, uh, smirking my mustache right now? And I don't have to say anything. I'm just looking at the barrel, the containment unit, and just being like. And you sent him out there because he's the best. <laughs> he's the best. Good job, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, Kavir. We did something amazing this day. You did something amazing. Rhett, good job on the container. Yeah, well, you know, it's the least I can do. Well, I should put this somewhere safe. And I'll walk up to it and I'll pick it off the ground. Here, buddy, and I'll pass it to Hank, and there'll be like a tiny little like handle on the side that Hank will just put in his mouth, um, <laughs> like a dog with a giant and, stick. No, no, yeah, yeah, and it's like it's so big that he's like lift his head all the way up, so it doesn't drag on the ground. Extends a little bit yeah. uh, as he uh, as he raises up a little bit and bites into the handle, and you can uh, trot with it. Yeah, well, uh, I'll look at Pike. I'll say, "Yep, that's why we chose Labouche." He's the best. He earned this. And I'm going to make the balloon animal of a goat for the real goat. <laughs> and it's going to be like a victory goat. Thank you, Chuckles. And Sorry, I do the, I do the, the teeth sound pose. Of the <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> in, the, in the sound of a goat is very impressive. Yeah. That's hard, bro. That's hard, bro. <laughs> 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 All right, Hank, boy. Let's go. And I'll start to walk out. Before I do, I'll walk up to Pike and I'll say, uh, I got a few ideas we should talk about later. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Let's talk over a drink. Sounds good to me. And I'll turn and we'll head down to, uh, I'll bring it back to my workshop and I will, um, you know, I'll have basically, I'm sure I have like a lots, lots of different various arms and things and I'll place it against the wall where like these two sort of like metal clamps will come over it and it'll just hang um, on my workshop wall for now. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like where that you want it in, um, in the workshop. Yeah, for now. That's uh, that's where he'd want to have it. Oh yeah. I would like to follow Rhett. Or is the, are you basically going like sealing yourself up? No, no, no. Okay. I, I mean, anyone else whenever you return, me, yeah. whenever you return, I would say, uh, Rhett, I don't pretend to know anything about this outside of crazy, chaotic, <laughs> discordant magic. Um, but. How would they have found that in a ship that was simply punched out of instead of completely vaporized or crushed into nothing? I don't know. If, uh... I mean, maybe there was some kind of container that held it into place and... Uh, you know, it's... Whatever it is, the fact that the Empire is trying to harness the ether in a way they've never fucking done before and they've never figured it out. They've fucking tried. But I'm telling you right goddamn now, for them to pull it off, they'd have to progress way goddamn too much. Whose attention do we bring it to? Is this something we bring to the attention? <laughs> this might be one we take to our graves. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't take us. I can't imagine that the Empire isn't aware that <coughs> a ship went down and it had that on it. Does that mean you think they're probably on their way here now? 
We just evaded them. I would say, um, with your knowledge of the Empire, and you know, specifically, you know, touched on in your previous experience with how they uh, handled the discordant world, uh, they believe in things very much in balance. Yep. Uh, and you would begin to draw the conclusion that though, uh, you understand you found that this was supposedly found on an empire ship, that would seem very odd because for them to have sanctioned scientific research around recreating ether dwarf tech that could potentially cause such catastrophe would fall well beyond the bounds of what they would determine mm. to be, uh, legitimate scientific experimentation. And uh, I think the reason why is that this wasn't official. This was a uh, blow board. And the question is, who? Someone in the Empire? Maybe similar situation or good friend, the old recently deceased doctor. Just like with Jackson. That's right. There's something fishy going on. The good news is, there's a very good chance that the six of us are the only people who know that this thing currently exists still. And its current location. We should keep it that way. What about Rex? <sighs> With any luck, he's got no clue about any of this. But we can't know for sure. It looks like the winds of discord might be blowing north for the humans of this galaxy towards progress. Do you know exactly how it all fucking works? At what point does someone turn? Not really, it's all fragments. I don't know what's real and what's not. I was a shrew for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all just, it's all just fragments, pieces, of bits of... I mean, honestly, even from before I, I, I met you guys, it's all just static. Images, memories, especially for the for the progress, spot boys. And then, uh, the other question of what punched the fucking hole? The one on the planet? The one on the ship. Empire oh, ship. the that Empire ship. Down. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah what could do that much damage? <clears throat> Unless it was maybe that core. I have a feeling we might find out. But for now, we are keeping it a secret? Safe? As soon as we leave this hangar, not a fucking word about it. Especially in front of the curing machine. As you see this, you turn. Just was in his bathroom at the curing machine, coffee, put coffee cup under it, and he looks back. <laughs> uh, I'm just concerned <coughs> after everything that happened with Night and Veil, vale, and with me being on the ship, and with the wind blowing toward the progress. Why don't we just shoot it into a sun? Just cast it off into space where no one can find it. And that means we gotta get close enough to a sun. And then that means we need to let it drift through space into the sun. We could. But it's possible if we let it go to drift into a sun, someone fucking intercepts it. Or swallows the sun, is that possible? No Look, way. When you're messing with ether. Ether is... Do you know what ether is? Oh, it's like thorly purple, Biv. Ether is the fifth element. It, it's the stuff of, of 
of space, of matter, that makes up the fabric of the universe. So the other element being fire, yeah. ice, slime, and candy. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> uh, wait, wait. He was so, so close. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So start from the beginning. Fire. Yeah. Ice. No, I mean, ice is frozen what? Slime. <laughs> no. And candy. <laughs> The, the four basic elements, right? It is the uh, element of matter. And it's why I can morph gravity with my cannon. There's been theoretical discussions about, you know, you do one wrong fucking experiment and it could swallow a whole damn planet. If it could swallow a whole damn planet, not that I've ever seen it happen or heard it happen. Why not a whole sun? Which means a whole universe. There's been theoretical discussions about chain reactions. Other things of the sort that might result to such a thing. Another alternative, and I don't want to say that we should do this, but if we want to risk it, for the riskiest biscuit there is, next time we have to take the honk weave, we can just kick it out to the Discord and just... And leave it in the hands of fucking demons? Not on my fucking life. All right, all right. As long as, you're, as, long as you feel safe with it being here on the ship. For I'm, now. I'm with the big guy. He knows more about this than any of us combined. I trust him. If he says it's safe, for now, it's safe. I agree. If anything, <gasps> I can talk to some of my Gruncorp buddies and have them take it off our hands, maybe. That's a good idea. You guys always know what to say to make me feel better. <laughs> oh, I really need to unwind with a game of Big Funk at 64. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go relax. We got a, a bounty to turn in, no? At least for once, it's the full bounty. He's right there, he's alive. That's what we came for, right? My heart! <laughs> no, no, I was gonna say, Morris, we go back, he's just dissolved the puddle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> we need that money. Uh, I'll put us in the right direction. To, to, to clarify, we did get this bounty from Kilovax. Yes. We, uh, yes. I know we were watching... Uh, well, at least the, the we were we turn him into kill, right? Okay, yes. at the very least, yes. that he's where we go. Okay, we got a job to hold us off until we're ready to go to the Grand Prix. You also know that uh, you may or may not remember from the first encounter that he's a bit of like a concierge to the bounty hunter, so it's not yeah. uncommon for many turn-ins to route back to him. Okay, as yeah. like a yeah, like we got a, it from the TV, just show. like a in in between a, a middleman. He's like um, what's his name from Mando? Gree, uh, grief, grief, cargo. grief, grief, cargo. Cargo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, gotcha. All right. He he runs like a like a basic <laughs> to intermediate bounty board and might have some yeah. very like here to there on like exclusive or very advanced bounties at the you know when you level up. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, turn in this bounty and then make our way to the prismatic path race. <laughs> if, we think, if we think. Uh, we think Rex is there. Maybe the boss has sent us some more information. Can you uh, get him in the brig? Yeah, no problem. And I will uh, go to where we left him. I would take Labouche with me to make sure that you can unbend him. <laughs> I'd, I'd slap a pair of ether shackles on him uh, that I would have lent for, uh, been lent from uh, Rhett, and I would have you uh, help me escort him to the brig. I also close the back of the ship, which I assume has been open and blowing this whole time. <laughs> We've all been screaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as you make your way back, you will see uh, a familiar sight. The uh, rebar 
burned into. I'm kidding. He's right there. I was, <laughs> like, I was, I was like, I'm gonna leap over the stage. So, uh, um, <laughs> he will kill you. <laughs> All right, we we no, we, he's right there. He's in the rebar. He's choking out in the rebar. We unrebar him. We either shackle him. Pike. <coughs> Do you think that Aki is okay? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I kind of like uh, my shoulders kind of slump, and I look down at the floor of the rhapsody. He survived, say, uh, right? He's he seems so enthusiastic and strong. You know, there's always a chance. <laughs> yeah, and I help, I help you pay, pick up this guy, and we walk him to the brig. And I'm just like, <laughs> I don't have it in me to let you down. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, and you shackle him, and as you start to uh, shuffle him to the brig, he'll he'll stir briefly. Uh, and just almost under his breath, say, oh, "Empire scum, I knew I shouldn't trust him." Uh, uh, um, as you uh, start to move him into the ring, yeah. we don't make let sure. Him bite you? What? Don't let him bite you. Oh wow! He I starts am... foaming at the mouth. <laughs> <the whole thing. laughs> <laughs> I, I like shift oh. my grip and I have, I grab him by like the nape of his collar <laughs> and his hands behind his back and I'm pushing him away from me this way so he can't like bite me. Uh, we make sure that he's good in the in the brig. We just kind of set him down on the bed mm-hmm. that's in there and boop, 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 boop. Mm-hmm. yeah, the beam wall goes back up as he falls into a familiar bed. Oh. Uh, um, before Labush and I turn away from the brig to walk back to the rest of the party, I would stop for a moment and just kind of look over him and say, I really don't want this to be a thing, but I feel like you should check his cavities. (laughs) (laughs) Dairy only pawn in Game of Life. (laughs) (laughs) I check his cavities. We do not. We do not. Six <laughs> sons of bitches. <laughs> Soon and more, we um, didn't, the laser wall here. comes back down as the We didn't check Rex's cat. <laughs> and, and, and we That's paid for it greatly. I'm just saying. He grabs the edge of his sloopy skin. <laughs> this does not happen. Uh, this does not as happen. As it snaps <laughs> back and he says, I'm going to wear you like a glove. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. The doctor is in. <laughs> you. <laughs> Oh my god. Horrific. <laughs> yeah. We make sure that he is uh secure, secure without, weaponry, without weaponry. Without any fancy without any gadgets. Fancy things. Just um, them two heard the uh the Empire comment. Well, you're the only ones who went. That's, you're the only ones that if you would have liked to have joined us, you more than you are more than welcome. Yeah. No, no, if, if you guys were escorting him, I would have fully trusted the two of yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um just curious. Yeah. Uh yeah, so you check him down. He had, like rudimentary things. He has like you know I don't know a can opener on him. Mm. Um, anything you pick up in kind of like a junkyard. You know? Yeah. Um, some gears, some bits and bobs. Mm-hmm. You take off anything that's uh, relevant. Uh, with presumably without checking his orifices. We found an <laughs> ounce of cannabis. <laughs> uh, you know what else you found, Labouche? Broken legs. <laughs> Um, and was, you just dissolve it within yourself. Um, I dissolve the cannabis. Um, as you, he, he has no, uh, he's got nothing on him. He's okay. got nothing on him. Okay. We don't you even have to roll for it. You're not going to throw out some fucking... <laughs> I mean... Well, no, so, I mean he's got to get away somehow. We're sure. trusting I mean, you. We're yeah. trusting on this no, one, base. No. He's got. You don't even have to roll for it. He's got nothing on him. Uh, we would. We would return to the uh, to the common area, I guess, where you're playing uh, Funkus Kong. Yeah, I'm, being, I'm playing Big, <laughs> big Funkus. Funkus. Big, big Funkus. Funkus 64. Oh, I love the underwater level. I'm gonna get the banana raptor of this level. Uh, <laughs> hey, Rex. You hear a familiar sound? Doom, doom. Doom. As you look over and giant pineapples are flying across the screen. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, he did awesome. make one comment, and we would just be saying this to everybody. Mm-hmm. He mentioned the Empire and about them uh, maybe double-crossing him or something along those lines. Hmm. Backstabbing might have been a word he used. He was mumbling. He was half awake. He seems mad, but he could be speaking of something real. They fucking knew about this. It's funny, none of us thought to ask him where he got it from. Well, when he wakes up, maybe we get some more info. I'm sorry. 
That's unrelated. Mad Dogs just died. He just croaked. That was, uh, I got a bit of the space sickness. Sometimes I just call. All right, you're good. Take care. Here's the thing. It's possible. Maybe the Empire caught wind of whoever went rogue. And this is how they, uh, took him out by the books so it doesn't show up on their records. They're very fucking detailed records. You mean gave him the core on purpose, hoping it would explode? No, I mean they punched the hole in the ship, and they asked old uh, oh. Mad Denny, what the fuck was a dairy? Dairy, yeah, <laughs> old Denny, to <laughs> make some mean omelet. Oh, hi, Denny. <laughs> <laughs> to make it go away. Because see, the Empire doesn't want to be caught fucking dead with something like yeah, that. Yeah, that makes sense. Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? You, take a, uh, you take a claim out on uh, your house, and then you hire someone else to set it on fire, and then you get the insurance claim. Labouche, what the hell are wrong with your eyeballs? They're like totally red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Put it this way. Empire finds a planet full of uh, discordant. It's easy to, you know, file a few forms with a few bu bureaucrats and they send a couple planet destroyers and blow it up. Super justified. It's a little more complicated when, let's say, one of their own is experiment and trying to replicate things they really fucking shouldn't in the name of progress. They want to make it disappear off the books. Are you fucking listening to me? You just keep nodding. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is I'm done with you. Is anyone else like super hungry? <laughs> just like so I can use some French fries and French bread, <laughs> French toast. <laughs> we just call it fries. Yeah. Bread. I mean, what do you think, Pike? I mean, you know this stuff way better than anybody. It all checks out. I just think we don't want anybody finding out we have that thing. The less people who know about it, the better. And we might be able to put it to some use. If we can't destroy it, the best next best thing we can do is make sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. And at least we can get some information from him when he wakes up, hopefully. And we have an amazing smuggler who knows how to get contraband past the Empire. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, well, <clears throat> pour me a drink. I'm going to go uh, call Ka uh, Kilovax and let him know we're coming. I would go to my room. And had, there would be a secret stash of a nice bottle of rye that I would have kept in my room no. without anybody else's knowledge, especially when things get kind of tight on the ship, right? And like <laughs> we're all like trying to split. Yeah, it would have been something that I paid for with my own my own credits mm. and stashed in my room. So I would I would bring it out and uh, open it f for everybody and and put it on the table and grab some glasses for whoever would want them and pour it, uh, you know, appropriately for a job well done. And share uh, my special booze reserves with my friends and my cr and my my fellow crewmates. Mm. Yeah, you do that. You take it out very uh, not not quite uncharacteristic, but a very rare moment. Uh, as whoever would like to imbibe, you pour a very nice drop of uh, a delicious uh, uh, whiskey. I'll uh, go to the kitchen. And instead of that, I'm gonna make myself a root beer float <laughs> <laughs> with the big like uh, curly Q straw. Mm -hmm. Um, we don't have to RP it if you don't want to, but I would call Kilovax, let him know, hey, we have dairy. We will definitely RP that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> let me get let me get in on this drink before I call him. <laughs> I have a feeling like it's gonna be important. I was gonna save this for a special occasion, or I don't know, something like that. And at the very least, today we all made it out alive. And there was definitely a chance where we might not have. So here's to uh, maybe just one successful bounty. <laughs> <laughs> one and a half? We did it! We got the, uh, the 30,000 earlier. 
One and a third. One and a third. <laughs> yeah. One and a third. We'll take it. One and a third. Cheers. 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 Is this alcohol? Y- yeah. If I drink alcohol, I die. <laughs> <laughs> you, you bubble like a slug. <laughs> Uh, it's relatively good stuff, I would say. Yeah, I, it's clear that I had saved up for a while and had been saving the bottle for a while. It's the best Ooh. stuff we've had in a while. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put it down and like spit it out and be like, this tastes nothing like that blood. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck! Uh, you went holding out on me. <laughs> now, like I said, special occasion, and this uh, seems to constitute one. Oh, that's real strong beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the good stuff. Mm. Uh, thanks, thanks, Pike, uh, for the lovely toast. All right, I'll be right back, and I'll watch some Big Funk at sixty four. Let me just go make a call. Yeah, I'm gonna wrangle these fucking beavers if it kills me. <laughs> Is it two player? Oh, let's switch over to the multiplayer mode. There's, I mean, it's it's the current year, so every single game has to have a four player split screen shooter mode. Even Bung <laughs> Big Funkin. He's he's high and hammered now. Yeah, he just picks up a controller that's not even plugged in. I know it, it, it's upside down, and I'm like. It is the banana controller. Though. It is. So yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so assuming that you have, one, in, you have yeah. one regular controller and the others are the third party controllers uh, that are really weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the oh, like, right. No, this the is like heads. my personal. I, it's one of the, some of the money that I spent from the Rhapsody of like, they're all the banana controllers. <laughs> it's the banana system. It's all collectors. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sit down and play multiplayer Big Funkus 64. So I will uh, sit down uh, at my kind of just monitor, computer, whatever that's in the common room, just like on the edge of the common room. And I'll uh, I'll probably just hit the name Killavax, just pull it up. Sweet and I'll, mm-hmm. I'll, uh, I'll start calling. It rings just a little bit longer than your custom before you'd expect someone like Killavax to pick it up. All right, uh, buddy. And then uh, it connects. And you see him on the other side. And at first he's not looking at the screen. Uh, and then he turns. Uh, and he's a little... And he previous he has almost like a rock it's like a rock guy. iron yeah. jaw oh, like yeah. like carved of rock um prominent jaw um you can tell almost immediately that something feels off uh he looks uncomfortable uh right <coughs> right what's going on Kilovax, you old boulder. How's it? And I like realize. Uh, how you doing? Hey, all uh, all good over here. Uh, I see uh, you picked up that latest bounty. Did you complete it? Uh, which one are you referring to? Hill. Uh, when you answer in that form. Uh, he will do this very briefly with his hands. Uh, he'll endeavor to make a circle and flash three fingers down. Uh, and you will take this to mean that in the last three hours, uh, there's been danger present. Uh, and he won't verbalize it. Um, but understand that you're looking at the screen, he'll make that hand signal at you. Uh, and he'll say, oh, must have been my mistake. Uh, anybody else in the room with you? Nope, just me. Did you complete it? Hmm. Can I sense whether I feel like he's under duress? 
like there's a person with a gun off screen, like right off screen, uh, with a gun, Fuck. or just, just like, do I get the sense that he feels genuine, or that he feels like compelled? Uh, roll an insight check. Oh, fuck. This is the biggest roll of the fucking day. I'm not the best at this, but we're gonna I have faith. We got twists. You yeah. gotta twist it until. That's pretty good. I think I just twist it just to be I'm, safe. I'm gonna just give it one or two twists just to see. No. Two. No. Two seven. Okay. It was fate. Uh, I think that is still a. I think it's still pretty good. good right? It's still pretty good. Okay. I think it's reasonable. Uh, it's acceptable money. Inside. A uh, wise man once said. The the best number you can roll in D and D that isn't a natural twenty is a fourteen because on a fourteen you're just like. <gasps> is it a success? <laughs> yeah. So I rolled a natural fourteen plus one is a fifteen. <laughs> he sits back in his chair. You can see there's a glass of, of whiskey to the side. He takes a long, uh, stiff drink, uh, and he'll say, "Red, I've cleared the logs. No, no, no! You took that bounty." It's just me and you right now. Did you complete it? And you feel as though he is genuinely, you feel as though you can share that answer with him. Look, let's say I did. What the fuck do you know about it? The only thing I know is the wrong type of people are asking questions about it now. You gotta be very careful out there and don't bring it back here. Do you need help? Listen, I'll be okay. Like I said, they're here, they're asking questions. They're looking for whoever, whoever, came across this bounty. They don't know what they came across, but they have strong suspicions. They don't know yet, Rhett, that it was you guys. I've cleared the logs. No one will know, but you have to be... Who? And as he says it, you'll see in the background, the door will get blasted open behind no. him. He'll spin around in the chair very quickly, and you can see as he reaches his hand back to, to presumably to end the call, You'll see as the as the video almost starts to like warble, it gets that black and white lining through it, like the connection starts to be interrupted as you walk in for a split second in the doorway through uh, a purple explosive blast, the shrapnel of the door explodes. You catch the faintest silhouette of uh long hair wrapped around a, stor a stout frame uh, with what seems to be mechanical uh, attachments and a massive gun blasted open the door before the video cuts out. And that is where we're in the session. Oh my God, Mace! What? An ending!